Hello? Leave! Hello. I drank so much water, it's having fucking funny. I think it's pretty funny. What's, uh, what's popping, everybody? What's going on? I am... Doing nothing! I'm streaming Sonic Adventure! Not Sonic Adventure, what Star Fox Adventure! I said the wrong character. You're being insane right now. I said the wrong character. My bad. Whoa, it's so beautiful outside. Hi, everybody. Uh, we're back. We're back with more of Star Fox and his sexy fox GF. And also... We've seen one fox time. GF. We've seen her twice. We're no, we're gonna see her again. Yeah, he's seen her once. We have to go see her, I think. I think that's actually the first thing we have to do, isn't it? Don't we? Did we get a no. thing? Yes, no. it is. I thought we got we a thing. We did not get a Krizoa spirit. Oh yeah, we d oh yeah, I had to get a Krizoa spirit. We got like a thing. We got like a shape of some sort. Yeah, we got we got a, we got a spell stone, so now we can bring another chunk of the planet back down to Earth. Man, this shit's hard to keep track of. There's too much going on in this game. Hi everybody, how's it going? How's it going? It's doing great. Uh, I'm excited about uh, I, March Madness. I'm the March Madness <laughs> college basketball tournament. Everyone's excited <laughs> about that. Yeah. Um, I'm letting chat answer. It seems like seems like no one's excited. I heard, I heard something happened in the news today. Yeah, UConn won. My I... local team. God, gotta stand for UConn, dude. That's I the heard. most exciting thing that's happened. Today. I heard. Yeah, some nothing stuff else of any important in the news today. Nothing important has happened in the news today. You know what they say? Uh, what, ladies and gentlemen? What? The Phillies lost their fourth game in a row. Fuck! Shit! The Mets lost two in a row. <coughs> the Mets are actually Phillies two fucking two suck this row. year. Fuck the pitch clock. I hate baseball. It's the worst fucking sport of all time. Thank you for the gift sub, Gray. Fuck baseball. Also, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen. Mhm. Mm uh, I don't know how the Sixers are doing right now. I don't. I don't know what the Sixers are up to. I think they were doing fine last time I checked. Hold on. I would not be surprised. Shit, no, I don't want to go in their store, bro. I don't want to go to SixersShop.com. I'm just trying to Google Sixers. Googling the Sixers is crashing my phone. I want to know what's happening in basketball. The series doesn't involve the world, it's just the US. Everyone who plays in it's from a different fucking country, dude. Sixers. It's not just America. The... Oh, and the 76ers are taking on the Celtics tonight, baby. Hate the Celtics. Fuck the Celtics. What the fuck is a Celtic? Sounds dumb as hell. Uh, ladies and gentlemen. So, anyways, the real news. Real news. The real news. Um. E3 has been canceled. E3 has been canceled. Uh, to pay tribute interest. to E3, I think that we should watch a compilation of the best E3 moments really fast before we stream. Okay. Okay. Can we watch the best E3 moments? Oh, let me look up. Let me, I'm gonna look up funniest E3. Okay, top <clears throat> top twenty E3 moments of all time. You wanna oh, watch God. a Watch Mojo video really fast before yeah, we I would actually, actually stream? Love to. All right. Wait, can we watch it at six times speed? No, we can't do that. I don't think we can go with six. We can go to two. Hold on. Let me. Let me. Oh my god. <laughs> Thank you for the raid. You're just Thanks in time for the raid. You're just in time for us to watch uh, the top twenty E three moments of all time. Hi everybody. Oh, no. Party oh, raid. No. You got here at an awful time. I've been live for seven minutes, and I don't take streaming seriously until I've been live for at least thirty. <laughs> Oh, no. Thank you for the raid. Hi, 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 hi. What's up? What's going on? If you wanna, if you wanna watch the actual game that I'm in the category of, then stick around. Uh, cause yeah, we're paying tribute to E3 right, right, right now. Every That's right. You, in Super Smash can you uh, history, play like the, the funeral battle. music behind this? Welcome to Watch Mojo. <laughs> yeah, hold on. I'm, I'm gonna stream. I'm gonna, I'm gonna screen share with you. That's what I want. Okay. Oh, I remember oh, that. This was an epic, an epic Bro, they, E3 win. Bro, they owned, they own them. Oh my God! Oh, that was new. Ah! 
For what did I do? Going over the most Sorry, I, I fucked up. The wrong thing. Yeah, go. hold on. We're gonna watch this on the fire. There's a great game Your favorite game moment that wasn't E3. Please be sure to let us know in the comments. Yeah, that was the game of words. Number turn, twenty. It's got some titles. So let's turn the auto-generated oh, subtitles on. <sighs> oh, I that 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 was that's Queen. I can't listen to that. Hold on, I'm yeah, skipping that. Skip. 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 Sucks. That moment sucked. I didn't even like that event. It's absolutely <laughs> shit. You all came. This is amazing. I need to let me take Hold this on. in. Holy crap. Amazing. For 2015. What was Bethesda doing in 2015? Nothing important. Hold on. Um, presentation for a number of huge titles. I guess they were doing Dishonored What did they do? Okay, who gives a fuck? Oh, I guess Doom. Wait, Doom. No, Doom happened. Oh, Fallout 4 was... Okay, that was pretty major. That was pretty major. I don't think that's in my top 20. And my top 20 is probably... Everyone know what the bottom of the Avatar shoe looks like. Bam, there it is. That has to be, like, top 5. Who gives a fuck? This is shit. This list is fucking ass. Yeah, that was a big one! Wait, that was a big one! Zelda! There had been no, it was Miyamoto came out with a big sword. With realistic graphics. He did that for really Link's really crossbow really training. training. There he is. Happy to deliver just that for millions of delighted fans. <laughs> okay. Remember when Miyamoto had a blade? The the short trailer received showed this was not just another okay, oh. Yeah, oh, yeah, no, no, they revealed the sexiest Nintendo character of all time, didn't they? It's so, true. that it, this was an important reveal, actually. Number 17, God, Super Mario boy, 2005 sure was a time, huh? Yeah, it was. Yeah. They were I was alive back then. It was crazy. Back in 1996, I was an age. I was, I was, uh, I was like 30 back then. I'm so sad that E3 is gone. How are you? We will never get funny presentations ever again. It makes me so sad because when I heard E3 was coming back this year, I was like, man, maybe I'll maybe I'll stream E3 this year. It'd be kind of fun. Yeah, we can't do that again. Well, I, I fucking can't. If that, that's all we get. We get one thing a year. We could have had E3. Who gives a shit about Summer Games Fest? It's so it feels unimportant, right? No, this is not only one day feels important. Do, can I just so, like this video sucks? Can I wa can I not does. watch this? I I don't care about any of this. I'm like looking at all the moments. Oh, the Wii. Oh, Gabe Newell showed up and was like, "I'm Gay Ben." Oh, Kevin Butler. One trillion dollars in my bank account. Do you know that they don't report the finances that they get for for Valve? Okay, I didn't know that. The most I didn't know that they're privately owned. No one knows how much money they have. Sony drops the mic on Microsoft. Who gives a shit, bro? E3 suck. I changed my mind. Now that, yeah. I've, now that I've looked at this video, I don't care. I'm glad E3 is dead. This fucking thing is a pile of shit. Who cares? Oh, by the way, good news. Speaking of E3 moments. Remember yeah, the fuck this. Sorry Avengers for wasting game. everyone's time. Yeah, they're, it's, they're making a sequel. Game. No, no, they're not making a sequel. The game's uh -oh. borderline dead. Officially dead. They're not making any more updates. All content for that video game is now included with the base price. Oh. If you ever want to play the Avengers game, that awesome. game is fully loaded right now. Didn't they, like, also make it better? <laughs> yes. They made almost everything in it better, and also all the content's free now, because the game is dead and they're never updating it again. I was gonna say, this game is fully loaded, much like Herbie the Love Bug. Yeah, exactly. It's like they Herbie. Should put him in the new they Avengers should put game. Herbie in the Avengers. Can't do Anyways, worse than fucking the like the, 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 than the murderer, <laughs> than the like woman murderer that's their current villain or whatever, right? Like All right, everybody. What? Speaking you of should... woman murderers, uh Donald Trump is under arrest. They got that's him. That's who's getting it. We finally got to it. They, they got, got him, folks. It. Isn't that crazy? I thought this was gonna uh... be a bigger deal. Yeah, who cares? <laughs> Sorry, I dropped my controller. I thought it was gonna be like a big thing, like shenanigans and shit. But no, he just he just went home. Yeah, the, they'll never send him into prison, but he might become legally unable to vote. run for president. So that's I think he awesome. can still run for president if he's a felon. I think he just can't vote. Oh, which is really that funny, by the way. I think you can be president and a felon, but you can't vote and be a felon. Isn't that crazy? I might. I'm talking that's out really of my. Weird. I'm probably talking out of my ass, but. I'm pretty sure, yeah, you can run while being a felon. I think you can be elected while being a felon. Well, that sucks. Which, is, but you can't vote. No, it's fine that you can be elected having been a felon, but it's weird that you can't vote. Every felon ever should run for president to fucking stick it to him. I was just looking for an easy way. Whoa! To hey, that. remember this? I had to save state because we oh, can't save the fucking oh, video yeah. game anymore. Remember Try that, get, everybody? Oh, yeah, we broke, I forgot. Yes, we yes. can't actually save the video game anymore. 
I really like Star Fox Adventures. The save of the saving the game broke, and we can never do it again. So I'm really excited to have to play through this entire game to get a save when uh, our it's... save states inevitably get inevitably get fucked up somehow. I'm so afraid of that. Oh, let me protect my man, my man Tricky. <laughs> okay. Uh... Can you play with him until he's purple again? Or at least like one one color change. No. Uh, Please. <laughs> Use what do I do with my spell stones? So I don't you have to go find to the on. temple. I don't know where this temple is. I'm gonna. It's the post cloud runner temple, temple. So I'm gonna look it up. Yeah. I'm done wandering around in this game. Did you um, say that I was gonna change Tricky's color remembering wrong? I forgot. I was busy. I mean, we I were all we were all just busy. Yeah, we were watching WrestleMania. Yeah, that's why I wasn't here last on Sunday. By the way. I had to watch WrestleMania. And by not here, you mean we did not stream. Yeah, yeah. If Boot does not watch WrestleMania, he does get fired. Yes. Let's... Shout out to Shane McMahon's ACL. Dude. Shane McMahon. Funniest, this is... single funniest wrestling moment I've ever heard in my so, life. So, like, this is shit no one in chat's gonna know what I'm talking about for a second, but I have to talk about wrestling for one second. Like, <laughs> one second. Shane oh. McMahon, greatest wrestler. Okay, sorry, Synth. Go on. Is it Tom Tom? Cape Claw. Cape Clawed? Cape Claw. Doesn't mean anything. <laughs> the place where you had to get gold bars. Hi, Fox. I just got back from there! Down. No, you got, just got back from Cloud Runner Temple. Now you're going to Cape Claw. Check which you were at before. Reads. Do I take my airplane there? No. Um, I believe it's that path off to the room. Oh, yeah, right here. I think it's this. Uh, okay. Shane McMahon, Vince McMahon's son and greatest wrestler in the world, and also, like, 55-year-old man. Uh... Did, came back after being fired by his dad uh, for being too bad at his job to work at the yeah. WWE anymore. He came back uh, and destroyed his ACL after jumping one time and has to get surgery now. Oh. He jumped once and all of the muscles in his body really exploded. Does. Immediately. Just fucking Maybe immediately. You Maybe you and Jack can help me with this. Uh, well, this will relate to it. I've talked to Cleve about this a lot. I've talked a lot about how Cleve does has forbid me from getting into Pratt falling. Yeah, I've always I've wanted to. I'm Cleve. Don't respond as we finish. No, the thank you, I owe for the four months. Thank you. Much appreciated. I really wanted to get into Pratt falling, like three Stooges type Pratt falling, and just be able to bust it out at any given moment's notice. Because I do think that uh, Pratt falling is the single funniest thing that any human being can do. And Cleve forbid me from it. Cleve explicitly forbid me from practicing and learning how to practice. You are going properly. to Life of Village. Oh. And okay. after watching Shane McMahon blow his, explode his knee doing the shittiest jump in the world, I gotta say, maybe Cleve's right. Maybe Cleve's onto something. Maybe I shouldn't learn Pratt Falling. It's Thank really God. easy to injure yourself. Yeah, if you... Pratt Falling, everyone who's ever done a Pratt Fall is like a fucking enlightened and extraordinarily skilled athlete. No one who's like an uneducated fucking, like, uneducated in terms of like how to move your body. Doesn't matter if you are like book That's smart. why I said but I yeah, want to yeah. learn. I'm but like, just, Pratt like, falling, falling is something you have to learn down. other things to do. You don't yeah. just start with Pratt Falling. That's like going know, like, I oh man, I think I'm going to start being a professional. I'm going to start being a professional basketball player. When have I ever said I'm going to start professionally Pratt Falling? I said I want to learn how to Pratt Fall. It's a process. I know that. If I said I want to learn how to program, you would be like, you can't, you can't program a video game right away. That takes a lot of time. Obviously, I want to learn it. That's part of the process. Are you going to learn how to program a video game now? No. Are you going to learn how to program Undertale and do a, a really bad job, but it comes out pretty good anyway? No. no. I'm so sick I'm of gonna... people pointing this out. I, 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 I'm I sick of it. I'm sick of everyone being like, oh, Undertale's made like shit. No one's saying this, by the way. No one gives a shit. <laughs> I'm sick of I'm sick of five people in one group chat I'm in who I like know all of and I like all of them. I'm sick of them all looking at Undertale's code and going, "Man, this is horribly done." Yeah, but it it who cares? It's fine. If it if it wasn't clear, one of them is me. Oh, I I know so much about computers. I know more about computers than everybody else does. <laughs> oh my god. Whatever. It is just completely no. It's it, some no of in the charming way. Is completely deranged. Like I don't know why in your right mind you would do some of these things these ways. 
You know? I I just know for a fact that if I was if I made a video game that I was coding from scratch, it would be mm. uh, it would be so I would do such a bad fucking job at, at, all, at all the coding stuff, and all that would matter to me is that it works at the end. Yeah, and if how, anyone how dissected my shit, it looked nightmarish. <laughs> but it'd be like, yeah, I made a video game that works. What have you done? Just saying. Like this was this is the game dev spirit of the of a classical age. I saw that post going around about the midway fighting games in the 90s and being like, hey, this move's busted, how do we balance it? And they just make the move not work after five times you hit with it. They just program, <laughs> yeah, it stops. Okay, to be fair, midway games are, are, are a lot less functional. Old midway no, games function it, a little bit less. It makes them function, there are no infinites in the games. The move just doesn't work. You, you do 400 damage one time, nope, next move just doesn't work. Oh, you want it stops. <laughs> Up what there. the fuck is this guy? Who the hell are you? Oh, I guess you should probably help him. Yeah, he's a little long guy. What is you? No, I remember him. Yeah, That's he was a light foot. Yeah. He looks like shit. No. I was saying, it's one thing to make fun of Unreal's shoddy programming. Blah blah blah. Big wood. I said this. Hey, I think it's completely valid to make fun of Undertale's shitty sprites. What? <laughs> but I just saved you. Come on. Us, no. I'm making really a game bad. full of shitty sprites. Don't be Your mean. Your sprites are wonderful. My That's sprites different. look like- I, I have some bad sprites in my video game. You have some wonderful sprites. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, he, he killed did. him! Jesus oh, he's Christ. fine. Oh, he's okay. He caught- he caught it. I do not hate Join Whimsy. I hate the fact that Toby Fox thought that Frisk's legs looked too small if he properly spaced them, so he just made one bigger than the other. <laughs> Frisk one- Frisk having one big leg does not Frisk has one big leg. Here's the thing, though, is I get it. As someone- no, wait, uh, Yeah! Yeah? Huh? What? I don't- the, the guy that I'm looking at does not mention this at all, by the way. <laughs> what was this entire sequence of events? What just happened? Um, I saved a guy and then he got blowed up by a big gun and then he gave me his fire gem and then he he went yeah this is I did so since I do have bad news for you about oh where I got no. this game I oh, did not, not purchase this video game I tried to but I all I went to a local it was actually an estate sale this time which was interesting oh. I never go to those but I was walking down the street oh, I saw a sign yeah. that said estate sale this way I went there I come in I'm like hey where are the GameCube games at I hear this guy was a gamer, and then okay. he comes out, or uh, you know, a mysterious old man comes out and said, "Yes, yeah. he was a gamer, and his favorite oh game was Star Fox Adventures. <laughs> you can have his copy, and it's free, what but it will think? cost you something <laughs> other than money." I said, "Cool, man, thanks." And I took it, and then when I left, the old man was gone, which was weird. I turned around and he was not there anymore. Uh, Wasn't that crazy? That he, him pronouns so sinisterly. Well, because I think it, that the estate sale was for him. He was dead, is what I was getting at. Oh, there. Okay, okay, okay. He, it was an estate sale for him, and he gave me his favorite video game. But it, he was a ghost, so he haunted the video game. Was what I was getting at. Okay, that would explain the save issues and like the the lag and all that stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's, it's because fun. he's haunting it, and he doesn't want me to enjoy his favorite video game. Normally, when you get haunted games from old men, they're like weird. But this one's just been annoying. Yeah, he's he's just sort of he was just like a weird guy. <laughs> no, he didn't fake his death. He was alive. Yeah, go left. He, he was he was he was he was dead. He was a ghost though. Yeah. Yeah. He died. He he realized Crystal wasn't real and just collapsed instantly. Someone in chat asked, "What do you think about the Undertale heart having smaller pixels at the top and bigger pixels at the bottom?" I hate it. No. I've always hated it. Ever since that game Last, was announced, that ladder. it looks like a fucking Mega Man sprite comic. Like you um. know what, like <laughs> Campbell's Chicken Noodle Soup is like a pixel art ad, and then they what? zoom in. It's just the box. I don't Campbell's know about Chicken Campbell's Chicken no, Noodle I, I, Soup. I do like a few know. Sint knows this ad. This ad was on YouTube for a long time. And it was just a single can of chicken noodle um, soup scaled down to like a low resolution and plugged into a bootleg Mario. And the Mario had different pixel resolution on every part of his body. That's what that Undertale shit makes me think of every single time. But also it looks good. Like it looks like a symbol. It doesn't read as a heart almost, but it looks as a symbol. So I'm like, whatever, fuck it. It's fine. It's well, what do I know? <laughs> it's truly fascinating how the only thing Toby Fox really knew how to do was apparently write and yeah. make music. 
He's really good at making music. He's really good at making jokes. And also, he's making. He's really good at making little faces. Like, there's a charm to a sprite not not being perfect if it's like hand drawn. Which well, a lot didn't of them somebody are. else draw the faces? I thought that he drew like concept art for the faces, but I think like Temi or whatever did all the actual yeah, like, sprites that look good. A lot, a lot of the sprite, yeah, yeah, exactly. If there's anything that looks good, in anything that looks good in Undertale was by Temi, which is exceptionally funny, and I also understand it because anything that looks good in the game that I'm making is by Boot. <laughs> Everything that looks bad, I'm fully responsible for. What did this do? I like didn't uh, understand. There's a waterfall what outside. This looks like it'd be something, right? Like this, this little. It does, but it's not. Am I making under just? Yeah, I'm working on it. Making a uh, T4C game that does not have an uh, actual name still. Has you know been that... tentatively known as Poo Poo Pee Pee Century for a long time, but I feel like I shouldn't call it that now that there are yeah, people who are not me attached to it in the credits. Now that there are like. Uh, behind you and to the left. I think is where you're going. Like this left? That waterfall. This? Is this a wa that, that? Yeah. What about it? I think there's something underneath it. They're behind it. There's a waterfall in a video game. <laughs> Oh, no. <laughs> uh, okay, I guess it's not this waterfall. There's a waterfall oh, somewhere. I'm gonna save one more sprite I don't like in Undertale. Just one. Yeah. What else do you uh, not like? Do you not like happiness? Too? No, this is the last one. Naps to Blook isn't symmetrical. What? That's fine. You don't have to be that symmetrical. Aren't no. Symmetrical. That one, it feels really weird when you look at him. When you keep that in mind and you look at his sprite, he feels really, really, really weird. You're gonna hate by, like, seeing things. all the symmetrical things that do not exist in what no, I'm doing. No, because hand drawn. It's different. The hand drawn in Undertale too. I know it's hand drawn, but he's a ghost. He has four different directions on him. It's half of him is a proper curve. What? Half of his head's It's right okay when I do down. it because it's hand drawn, but it's not okay when Toby Fox does it because it's hand drawn, but in it, but in a different way. No, because half of it is 100% perfectly drawn circularly, and then the other half slopes down with a side angle because it isn't the same kind of curve. I don't know how it happened. He it's got a good curve about. while drawing one half of him, and then he messed up the other half. That's I've done that. That's normal. You're you're being very not. Non understanding right now. This is good. It doesn't have to be symmetrical. It's fine. It doesn't have to be dirt. You're seeing it. Yeah, you are seeing it. The game looks. I'm not saying it would look boring if everything was perfect. Okay. I'm just saying that Nabs' look is very clearly meant to be round. Uh, the area you're looking for is to the left of the big head. Right. The big head? Okay. Yeah. I guess that is a big head. That's really the only way you could describe that. Sorry that this game is sort of a background. What? Did I just get sick? The world did I did I have like a disease or something that made me like freak out? Got sorry that the sorry that this video game sort of can sometimes be background discussion when we talk about other things. But like, what do you want us to talk about here? It's right? Uh, down. Um, yeah. I like. I should. Learn how to make a video game. I just do since can you programming. since you gotta help me code a video game when I make a okay. game that requires coding. I want to make sure. a like real game that like has coding in it eventually, and I don't. Everyone's mm -hmm. gonna pick me apart like Kobe fucking Fox if I do that. We're gonna be like, wow, <laughs> this game is a fucking piece of shit. It's a miracle that this works. And it's like, hey, baby, okay. no, don't be mean to me. Okay. You know what? You know what's what stands out more about Napsy Blook? Here it is. Oh my it is. God. The last one. Last thing I'm gonna say. His head is symmetrical when he's wearing headphones. Okay. When he's wearing headphones, he has a symmetrical sprite. When he's standing normally, he does not. That's fine. It's just yeah. weird. It's just odd. All I'm saying is it's odd. That's normal. You're such an enormous hater that it's insane. I'm not an enormous hater. It's it's fair to say that that's odd. All right, I got another fire gem, I guess. Am I gonna go, yeah, or does this one not matter as oh much? God. I guess it Wait, doesn't matter. how is his reflection doing that? He's looking at his reflection, his reflection is facing sideways. You're so pedantic cool. right now. So, are you gonna be in Overwatch? When did that happen? 
No, remember, I, I've been threatening to make an Overwatch balance thing for m oh, years. Oh god, I forgot about that. It's really annoying because every time I get close, they do something stupid. Like, like taking away one of the now? tanks, or adding a new character that is going to be the biggest uh, shit show this game By the way, seen. everybody, I have good news. On, uh, Overtale did add the new the new pansexual character. They did the it. Everyone's plant favorite plant pansexual. is pansexual. Right as they're endorsed, right as they're enduring more legal problems and controversy, they, they have made a problem? new a whole new character. That specific legal problem, I think that you're placing the, the right. fire. Dungeon. I know. I'm just I think I, I'm going to defend Blizzard on their latest legal scandal. What? What's their? Yeah. I don't even know what it is. What what they do this time? It is. Uh, they have a price cap on their esports teams, where if you are running a team, then you have a maximum amount that you can pay your players for it to promote uh, competition between teams to keep things quote unquote balanced, so that you can't just like buy all of the best people if you're the richest team. Isn't that how like actual sports yeah. teams That's work? That's how every actual sport works. I thought they also had like match fixing in there somewhere. I don't know about match fixing, but with regards to that specific thing, which yeah, is match just fixing's like, bad. Don't do that. They would they would have have a punitive measure towards an esports team if they raise someone's prices higher than their what's it called written thing. That was their that was their legal case, and it's that being anti-competitive or competitive. Blah 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 blah. That's fine. That's it. Price caps okay. are good. Good for business. Good oh, for I see. You need, you need sun on both gems. Oh. Do you have a mirror? So I gotta burn. That is for Ooh. Tricky to burn, not you. Oh my fucking god! This fucking <laughs> Tricky guy has to do everything! Tricky's cool. If I make you stay? Go up, Tricky. <laughs> he doesn't even know what's going on. He has no idea what's there happening. Goes. Those brambles look really good. Oh boy. It's fine. <laughs> you really did make me bring my attention to those brambles right before they crumpled like a <laughs> loose blanket falling off of a bed. It's fine. They're they're doing their okay, best. Okay, okay, I have to I have to stop being a stickler. I'm not actually I'm not a stickler about video game graphics. I promise. Look at this! What's your uh, favorite and least favorite sprite in the game that I made? That you know, you're making? Yeah, really critique me, really give it to me, make me feel my like my least shit. favorite sprite. Yeah, what do you hate? I have to go through. Yeah, let's talk about, I don't know. Let's talk about FPS instead. I really like the cat. That's probably my favorite sprite. Alright, alright, alright. Here we are, baby. We're making we're making moves. We're making money moves. We're in here let's now. Talk about FPS instead. What's FPS? Oh, frames per second. Oh yeah. What I FPS first does shooter. my game run at? Not very high, I think. I think like 30, right? I think there's an FPS cap on the engine. Strawberry Mall? Oh my god! <laughs> what? He's swimming. He freaked me out. He's being gentle, even be. He's not gonna be able to weigh Hi, down Tricky. the button, he's too short. Tricky, you're so cute! He's drowning. You're so cool! He needs help, look at look him. Look at his reflection! Uh, uh, Why does he do that? Uh, uh. Boy, the water in this game is truly He's so bad. fucking fast! <laughs> he goes, you? <laughs> Somebody said, uh, Boot notices the extra polygon and immediately projects all vomits and disgust. I talked about how I literally can't play the game Bug yeah. Fables, which is an adorable Paper Mario like with little, little bug guys in it. Oh, no. I can't play it because they try to give. Uh, 3D fake outlines on some models, and how you do that is you have an outer shell around a model that's replicating an outline that loops around the whole thing, but it's pure black, and has inverted face vertices. He's pointing as it looks like an outline, but where that intersects with a different model, you can see the edge of that replacement model, and it looks I was not really in there. sharp and really weird. So, I can't play it. I can't play it because I see that little break between the outlines that makes me feel like, oh, this is ugly. I'm so sorry for your loss. That's yeah, so... I, I feel really bad about it. It's so... I, I, I'd never get that. I'd never get that with what video if... games. This, that's the only time. You have described, like, many times where you think a game looks like shit. And then you yeah, fucking think I'm in the wrong it. for thinking Octopath Traveler looks bad. I think you are. 
in the in the wrong. We're thinking Octopath Traveler. I think by and large, Octopath Traveler does look not very good. But the boss sprites in that game, boy howdy. <laughs> I think that game looks pretty good. I think the 3D sprites are pretty good. I think the HD 2D stuff. I don't like it. Looks like it just looks like I think it looks like shit. Why I don't I like neat. Octopath I like Traveler? It. It's literally just. It's just that I do not like one. Like, I just. I the game probably would be fun for me. I just don't like its uh, art yeah, style. The again. While you're up here. See, I like the HD 2D thing because I feel like 3D games look worse than 2D games, but 2D games look too old, so obligatorily something You're an insane person. At, at least 2D like games Pixlar look games. too Pixlar old? Games. Pixel art games. 2D pixel art games look inherently like aged, which is like, that's the nature of it. What about Undertale? Like, yeah, that's like part of why Undertale works the way that it does. <laughs> You're going to say like part of why game. you don't like it. No, it's meant to feel like an old classic video game. 2D games look too old is one of the biggest L statements you've said on no, screen in a little bit. Look, you can make a 2D art style that looks good. Look at something like fucking Hades. No, Hades is a 3D game. Yeah, Hades is a 3D game. It just game. looks 2D. Look at something Shit, like Call of Duty. Uh, <laughs> no, what's a, what's a 2D game that looks good? Hyperlight Drifter looks pretty good. Yeah, that's library. what I mean. You have, to add, you have to add some pizzazz to it. Because Hyperlight Drifter has some like lighting just going adjustments backwards. in it that let you like actually light on the things. Looks like some of the yeah, some something nice like Among Us. Game. Yeah, look at Among Us. Hey, Among look at look at Friday style. Night Funkin'. That has an art style too. I don't like it. it looks like you a don't game, like. Okay, like... so art styles are bad. No, I said the fucking little Newgrounds art styles bad. Which is just Among Us and Friday Night Funkin', which are the only two that you gave me. What about Binding of Isaac? That game looks pretty good. Yeah, I love Stop looking at the Binding about of Isaac. Talking Newgrounds ass video games. Uh, how could you possibly have thought that Undertale was an NES game? Yeah, you're insane. I've played a lot of NES games. Those games look like shit. They look worse than Undertale. You would know better than anyone at this point. <laughs> they have gameplay that's bad and the games look like shit. Whatever. I don't care about these things. Frisk looks like an NES sprite. Frisk is too complicated to be an NES sprite. Frisk looks like an NES sprite just because their colors are really, really weird. Frisk does have a weird I don't color think color. the NES was capable of rendering the jaundice yellow. Of <laughs> no, it is. Skin. Mario. Why does Frisk look sick? <laughs> does anyone ever talk about this? It's Frisk does look the, sick. The, Frisk looks like a least, Simpson. For the first two chapters of Undertale, every sprite palette is directly taken from the default MS Paint library. <laughs> I really like that, actually. I'm a fan. I'm a oh fan. Oh my god. He just spawned into existence. What a guy. There's a cool fight. This is engaging. Oh. Use your ground quake. Maybe that'll get him. Oh. No. I was so prepared for it to not do anything. Watch out! Ground quake! Are you fucking me? Oh my me? god. Freezing. Oh my god. Ice him, boys. Oh. Gotta get the scarab! I'm trying to emulate an 8 book game for a tournament in a budget TV show. Kinda true. <laughs> I remember when I first played Undertale, the first time I played Undertale, the demo, I thought it was really weird that there was no diagonal walk spread. Really? You're gonna hate yeah. P4C. <laughs> no, like, I, that, Man. it just doesn't bother me that much, but, like, when I first played Undertale, I was like, no diagonal walk sprites. You hate wonky sprites? You hate no diagonal movement? What, no, what am it, I making my game okay. for? I had never played a fucking RPG game that didn't have diagonal movement. That wasn't, like, Pokemon from years ago. Pokemon's... I guess Pokemon Are you ready did... for a memory puzzle? <laughs> diagonal sprites are wonky? Yeah. Um, but my ass was oh. like, oh, I know Earthbound. I know Toby Fox is an Earthbound person. Oh. Oh. Why is Tricky panting so much? <laughs> okay, so let's see. Bottom right. Is this bottom right or bottom left? I don't know what perspective this is from. 
I would imagine this would be from the perspective of facing the stuff. Okay, because I was thinking of, of it as being this perspective for some reason, but that's because I that's really how my how brain works. Bottom right, and then three. How do I get to that one? How do I do that? I, it probably just disables the whole row when you step on a tile. Okay, so yeah. bottom right, <laughs> right, leftish. Right-ish. Four, two, three, two, four, four. Yeah. Four, two, two, three, four, four. Yeah. Bada big. Alright, that was, yeah, that, 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 so was that was a much ado about over. nothing, yeah. <laughs> I love the dice. Earthbound they do look better though, just because Earthbound is built to be a diagonal video game. Built to be a diagonal video game? Yeah, it's from an isometric perspective. Mother 3 is front on. I gotta play Mother 3. Mother 3 yeah. is very good. I have to beat Mother 3. I've never beaten it, but it's really yeah, good. Yeah, I got to Barrier Trio and stopped last time I did it. Can we play Mother 3 together? Okay. We should do that. That'd be great. We can that we can make that the uh, RPG. One person controls every person. Strength. <laughs> Actually, wait. Oh Get no. Are we are, are we are we thinking about this? I'm thinking about it. I would love to play Mother Three. Mother Three is my single favorite video game of all time. Oh yeah. What about Mario sixty four? Uh huh. No. Nice it works. It's Mother 3. No, no, it's it's Mother 3 is, is tied with Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze. Yeah, like we had this. Oh, yeah. We did a whole yeah, stream about this. Yeah, and they had to put Tropical Freeze above it because I already used Mother 3, but in my eyes, those games are categorically separate. Weren't you all supposed to officiate that? Oh! Yes! Okay, hold on. Wait, do we talk about this right now? I thought now? we were going to do that at the end. We'll do this at the end of the stream, yeah. If you want to know the official choice the official conclusion yeah, to our get to choice, our pick yes. the game saga then wait until the end of stream where we will officially announce what twitch chats pick the game and our our very very complicated deliberating we've done since then mm -hmm. what what the conclusion has been you have to stay until the end of stream you're not allowed to leave you have to stay here for at least another like hour like an hour like like two hours or whatever I'm very excited to figure out how we're going to do this. You're gonna, you're gonna learn this. You're gonna, you're gonna figure it out. You're gonna know what the, what is this ice physics? I don't, it's mossy in here. Why is it slippy <laughs> slido? Oh, two power cells. Yes. Awesome. Can you leave and come back? Um, you can't, if you leave, I'm banning you. I'm gonna, I'm bringing it up because someone in chat did. Oh my gosh. The, the IGN tweet that's like, this is what Spider-Man PS4 would look like running on a Game Boy. <laughs> is the funniest thing in the world. It's the most unhinged thing I've ever seen in my life. Yeah, did you see that one motherfucker? It was some like modding guy who got the same clip from Spider-Man running on actual Game Boy hardware. Yeah. Did it look the same? <laughs> no. It's really, really funny though. That fucking- This is what a racer head would look like on the Game Boy. Okay. It's, <laughs> like, all right. It's so, it's so weird. How did that? How did that make it up through the chain of command of IGN? Do you think there's a know. chain of command about what like a guy treats? Someone had to have recommended no, it. to be because that's a thing that you build. Yeah, I guess so. Who's like talk to like social media? As that would have been say. your job if you worked there. Is yeah. like, hey, we need you to pixelize spider. Oh, can somebody? Okay, can somebody please? Do, do you have a link to this? Because I just want to show it on stream. Yeah. Uh, let me try to find it. I'm trying to think, just in the sense of like, what leads. Hold you on, to I'm, I'm looking for this really fast. Like, I need to know. I need to know what could lead. Okay, hold on. I found, I found the tweet. Give me a second, and I'm right, going to. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. Hold on. I'm gonna play this on stream. Give me a second. Let me. Um. Want me to talk while you wait? Let me start an in conversation, because I can give you an in conversation if you want me to. No, it's it just it's, it's uh you're and you're stressing me out now, now that you're talking about. Okay, now, Jeff, now that you're like, oh my god. We can't get this in time. I'm gonna talk about something entirely unrelated. <laughs> hold on, I'm trying to find my window capture. There it is. Okay, that hold conversation on. going for like five minutes. Hold on. Here you go. <laughs> hold on. 
Blonk. This is what Sony Spider Man would look like. Blonk. Right okay, hold on. Watch this. Please watch this. Don't look at I'm my don't clip. look at my bookmarks. <laughs> this is the best tweet ever made. I'm firmly willing to if I did a top ten tweets list, this is I'm gonna retweet this right now. Oh I already have retweeted it. I'm gonna I'm gonna undo retweet so I can retweet it again. They didn't have a spray, but they just have some tune tune soundtrack in the yard. It's so yeah. fucking funny! <laughs> this is what it would look like running out of Game Boy colors specifically. And it's like it's just like there's a pixel filter over it. There's not even like a reason for it. It's like no. there's no connection. <laughs> it was posted on September 6th. Like when this kid come out? I don't get it. This video is really a full minute long for no reason. <laughs> What's like, going on? Like to lead to this. <laughs> yeah, it released in. August. This day is the game. Okay, so this tweet is from a month after the game came out for it, it's no a, a reason. Week or two after, for okay. some reason. Oh this is God. what I, now we wish we had a handheld Spider-Man. Like, I like okay. the idea that someone had this idea when the game was coming out, but it took them too long and they couldn't get it out. We're trying to figure it out, boss, but we just don't know what it would look like in a Game Boy Color. I don't, I don't know what to do. It, it's too hard. I've been looking for the one where the guy actually got it running on a PlayStation Color, on a Game Boy Color. A PlayStation Color? A PlayStation Color. I have to but make fun of you when one. you say something wrong, because I'm mean. Yeah, no, it's okay. I'm a mean person. Not nice. What the- what- 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 what did I just unlock by doing that? Was that the door that I've been wanting to unlock, maybe? You're so hateful. Who hates when I say things wrong? You know what's awesome? Speaking of things God. like I said, I was going to do in an end conversation. Yeah, you're right. But also, aside from God, what's awesome is shading. I was talking to Kui about okay. this because I uh, my electric sh my electric razor broke and I had to go back to the old. <laughs> oh, you're talking about how shaving's awesome now? Yeah, I'm talking We're about falling on hard times, huh? No, I, people don't get it. People don't know about it. I feel like there's a lot of people like me in the world who just use the elect oh, electrical battery power again. buzz buzz thing. They don't know it, dude. I'm shaving pill? No, it was fun! It was okay, so fun. For reference, for reference, what Boot is talking about specifically is I have like old timey razors and stuff. Yeah, I have an old timey razor. I have an old timey razor and I gave a bunch of my friends old timey razors as gifts because I had a bunch of extra ones lying around the house and. Yep. That, that, that's what Boot's talking about. It's not just shaving, like, in general. It's, like, specific yeah, shaving. No, I'm, ta I'm talking about using, like, a classic shaving kit. It's very enjoyable. I thought it would Poke be a very bad Fuck, I forgot to make Poke Mario with Needles of Command! I completely forgot! I, I was so exhausted! Oh, my God! Hold on. Hold on. Are you doing it now? Yeah, hold on. <laughs> You're doing it now? Hold on. Just keep talking about fucking shaving. Give me a okay. second. Hold on. There's just like an innate feel to it. I shaved with a real boy razor, and it's like, I've been just feeling my face all day, dude. Shit's wonderful. what I miss? I'm talking about how much fun that I think that shaving is. Oh, I hate it. Do you use an old-timey razor or a, or a modern razor? I need to get a modern razor. I use, I use a... an old-timey one, and I love that thing. I was just talking about how much better it is than my modern razor. Okay, there is a Poke Mario with Needles command now. I, I added it really oh, yeah. fast. <laughs> Sorry, I forgot everybody. that we said we would do that for you. That's a ago. huge fucking L on my part. Now there is one. <laughs> it just makes the bot say Mamma Mia. <laughs> it just makes the bot say Mamma Mia. <laughs> okay, so. It only did it once. Oh, I think that there's, there's a, a cool I, there's a cooldown. I added a long cooldown because I don't want people to be able to spam Poke Mario with needles. There's, no, it's just it's just like I hold on. Okay, I you can't poke Mario with needles enough. Hold on, let me fix it. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ! I do one fucking thing for you. you give a mouse a cookie. You know what they say? Yeah. You give a fucking mouse a cookie, and he wants a fucking glass of milk too. There you go. You can say it more often now. God. 
Popicor is shaping ult ultimate ra razor. I might be I might like become Popicor. I might start talking like a lot more fucky without like opening my mouth. So that like nobody okay. even tell them so saying this. This is so weird and, and difficult to like I don't I don't know where I'm supposed to go. Please, would you still love me if I talked like Popeye? Um It would take some effort to be okay with you talking like Popeye, I'll say. Like in, in this situation it's not for fun, it's just like I can't help it. If you like literally if you like for a medical reason had to talk like Popeye, it'd be fine. If you did it for fun, I'd be annoyed. Yeah. But if I'm you saying, like, like a hypothetical world where like what the what well, the fuck well do watching, I do? Well, watching Popeye get electrocuted by my VCR, and it makes me talk like Popeye for the rest of my life. I would be really bummed out about it, but I'd be able to accept it. There you know? should be a teleporter somewhere around. Yeah. Oh my god. Well, thank you, Queen. That, that takes a lot of effort. I get this would you this would be with us like. If I talk like Popeye. I might have to stop streaming. What? What? I feel like I would get in trouble for like copyright stuff if you talk like Popeye. <laughs> if, you're, if, you're, if you're talking like Popeye. Yeah, I feel like <laughs> I, I would get in trouble out. for like copyright reasons if you talk like Popeye. All the Actually, time. you're right. No, um, impressions are gonna start being taken down. Did, did you hear it's about that? Oh my God, this is so YouTube difficult. YouTube started cracking down on Eminem impressions. Eminem impressions? Like yeah, like the Eminems or like Eminem. No, Eminem the rapper. <laughs> Um, cause a bunch of AI generated in this, in the tune of Eminem, uh, Eminem guys got their YouTube videos blocked by copyright grounds, and it's dragging a bunch of real impressions down with it. I don't want anyone to sound like me! Because I'm oh, Eminem, no, I'm AI, the OG! To the left, near yeah, the wall. Yeah, no, actual people's, like, rap like Eminem videos are getting taken down like too. this left? Yeah, you can I see it on the far back wall. Have you ever seen my NFT?! One of their, like, uh... <laughs> I drank the Eminem potion at 3 a.m. I do think that Eminem is probably one of the funniest, uh... AI voices you could possibly do. Because what he has the opening of that one song where he just talks for a while, right? I remember you were conflicted, yeah. misusing your influence! I think it, I think it's slim. Well, the real slim shady still stand up. Like yeah. Just talks for a minute in the beginning. Finally, a new impression. I do the Eminem voice a lot in like yeah, real life. Yeah, it does a lot. I've seen a small trend of people taking like someone's inane ramblings for like five minutes and just transferring it into Eminem voice, and it's very very funny. I saw one about just someone listing off all of their favorite foods that they really want to eat right now. And it was like a two-minute clip of Eminem voice just listing off all these fucking foods. Oh god, it felt like a real opening. Chicken pot pie! Hold on, I'm gonna grab this. Yeah, please do. Can I, can I link you this? Yeah. Oh, I love to do Fox's teleport animation is... There are a lot of Fox animations that are exceptionally funny in this game, but I think his teleport animation is like up there for me. He looks so You're not wrong. He <laughs> looks exceptionally like you heard about video games. Whoa, he tricky! Like Whoa! Into, oh, I thought he turned into like a slug or something. No, he was oh, rolling so around. Cool. He was having fucking fun. He's so cool. Okay, Queen, I posted I posted the post. Okay, hold on. I'm having to fucking play so many things on stream right now. I'm sorry. Can I play this? You can, and then... up, you can bring up the whole Tumblr post. So that people can read along. I, I think it's extremely funny. Can I can I play this and then be Get right water. back really fast? Yeah. Yeah, okay, absolutely. Hold on. Intermission. Oh shit, I can't play this. This just no, has it's just, it's just the backing. That doesn't change that it's the music. It's mute no, the video. it'll be fine. I think that you can't just play that on stream. You can absolutely play that on stream. There's... There's Eminem fake voice Daddy, over it. I want anything. Mm. Give me some fettuccine mm. Alfredo. Mm. Give me that up. The spicy spaghetti. Oh. That Audio candy. jungle. And I would like a glass of milk, please. And some peanut butter and crackers. And forget the text. And a grilled cheese. <laughs> Don't forget the red pepper flakes. <laughs> I have a sleep to the salt. <laughs> this is too risky. This is too risky. Hold on. I... Come on. It's I, fine. I've played some Why of it. Why would that be risky? In what world would it be risky? I'm putting everyone in the mandrel maze for a second. Give me a second. In what world would it be risky? It oh won't show the algorithm. It's just not even the same. You told me to say 
audio jungle when I was had a taco in my mouth. I want anything. Give me some fettuccine Alfredo. Give me that up. The spicy spaghetti. That ramen noodle. I would like a glass of milk, please. And some peanut butter and crackers and strawberries and a grill. Okay. Cheese. Don't forget the red pepper flakes. I have a sweet oh and salty tuna salad too. All of my teeth, all the food all for me. It's a delightful foodie with so much to see. Give me a little bit of rice and sushi. I want it now. A burger of a medium size. It's I'm gonna be right back. <laughs> That's it. What a truly hungry man. Well, if you can just skip that in the bot, it's fine. Yeah, we'll just uh, not watch that part. Yeah, I really, really like it. I like it a lot. I'd like a glass of milk, please, and some peanut butter and crackers and strawberries with a grilled cheese. Like, come on, dude. You can't act like he's spinning right now. He's, he's kind of spitting. Rapping best foods? I'm talking <laughs> India, Ethiopia, a foodie's utopia? Come on, dude. He's not spitting, he's eating. Rue. <laughs> I'm sick of this fucking dude, shit. Dude, he ate. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm in sorry for eating that tomato past when I should. It wasn't good. I learned my lesson, I won't be messing. <laughs> Come on! It's very easy to please you in the in the in the lyrical spiritual miracle world. I love terrible shitty rhymes. Have you save stated recently? Oh that's a good idea. I just did. Okay. Like for real, there's nothing I love like a rap with like terrible, terrible, just the worst rhyme in the so world. So just a bad rap. You just like bad, bad no. music. Mostly. No. It needs to be... It needs to have a good flow, and it needs to like sound fine, and like the B has to be fine, it has to be like well done, like a well done, well performed line, but the line's just really, really, really stupid. That's what I want. Have you ever been have to a friend's bars? house and the food was just no good? That's like almost. Way. That's that's. I'd honestly call that not stupid enough. Are you fucking kidding me? The fucking part about food and rappers delights too like high IQ for you? No, because it's. I don't think it's performed well enough. Do you hate like rap history or something? No, it's fine. I like the song. But you it, just it said it was bad. That. No, I didn't. You said it was not well performed enough. That's like saying it was yeah. like shit. It was like fucking dog shit. No, though. it's just standard. It's not bad. The There's not enough contrast between the lyrics being stupid and the song being how it should be. I can't believe you right now. The shit you fucking say. I'm never gonna give you mushrooms like Tricky ever again. No, please give me mushrooms, please! You have to really enjoy Rapper's Delight. But I love Hogan, Rapper's Delight! I love Rapper's Delight! You don't mean it, and it's obvious. I do mean it! I hate when the food's no good! You like when the food's no I good? I hate when the chicken tastes like wood! What about the other Bad things guys. that he says? Nice big rock candy mountain reference. Bad guys! All right, what do we got here? Don't fucking shit on little Caesars in my chat. I swear to God. 
I don't want to eat. Is, is Little Caesars the guy who goes yum yum? No, he's the guy that goes pizza pizza. Mm. Yeah. Who's yum yum? I don't know what you're talking about. What's the brand where the guy goes yum yum? Red Robin? Red Robin is just one yum. It's just one yum, yeah. But, like, I don't know what the fuck else you would be talking about, so. Hmm. Um. I've never heard of Red Robin. Yes, you have. It's a very. Wait, what? What? You're lying. He goes delivery, delivery because Pizza Peach is another chain where you live? He doesn't fucking do that. Little Caesar would not do that. You're fucking. Look it up. You're straight up fibbing right now. You're actually fibbing right now. Yeah, I don't fucking believe you one bit. That's that's insanity. He would not say that. He says delivery, delivery. What? You've heard what? Huh? This has fucked up my whole fucking worldview. He doesn't do that. Little Caesar wouldn't do that. That's evil. Delivery, delivery is not even cool. Yeah, that fucking sucks. I would never go to Little Caesars if he said delivery, delivery, where I live. That's pathetic. Yeah, I don't think I've ever heard of anyone actually getting Little Caesars delivered either. No, you go and pick it up, and you get a hot and ready, and it's fucking $5. That's the entire thing. It, uh, no one gives a shit about his fucking delivery. Little Caesars, okay, straight up, Little Caesars, Little Caesars underrated. If I was smart, right, if I was like a marketing guy, if I yeah. owned Little Caesars. Yeah, if you were smart and, had, and were a marketing guy. I, I would and own Little off. Caesars. That's a lot of things you have to do to, to, to do this. I'd split them off and then make a secondary company called Big Caesars. And Big Caesars is the mm -hmm. sit-down place where you serve the pizzas and they're big. And Little Caesars is the delivery one. I think there's a reason that you're not a smart marketing guy who owns Little Caesars. No, because people I'm would be appealing. like... appealing. There might be a reason that you're not... People would, people that you would don't have like, this job. Little Caesars? People would be, what's Little Caesars? It's like, yeah, I love Little Caesars. I, thought, I only like, like Big Caesars, other friends, bro. One of their friends would be like, you know there's Big Caesars, too. And everyone would go, what? Big Caesars? <laughs> Yeah, it's like well, it's the same place as Little Caesars, but they give you a bigger pizza. In person. You know that it'd be good marketing and go, no if, way. if everyone's no like, way. "What? Big Caesars no. exists at all?" No I didn't way. know that was a they thing. They give you no way that they give you a bigger pizza at Big Caesars, and then they Google it, and the top result is because it's been selling so well. It's the top result in Google is Big Caesars pizza. The top result, and it, just like in general, yeah. for what? And you click, you click Big C you look up Big Caesars. Yeah, I would Caesars hope that Big Caesars you. is the top result for Big Caesars. If it wasn't, it, something it brings would be you to the, up. it brings you to the Little Caesars website, and they have an ad for Big Caesars, and you you go, no way, this is real, but it's on the Little Caesars website. You look I at the you look at the bar. The you look at the web bar on the top about. and you go, no, this is the real Little Caesars website. They just had Big Caesars. And then you get in your car and you're like, we gotta go to fucking Big Caesars. We gotta check this out. And you go to Big Caesars and you sell a bigger pizza, but it's not even that much bigger. That's the twist. It's probably more expensive in the long run. Because you have to pay someone to deliver it. And you inherently sell only the bigger pizzas at Big Caesars. And you don't even need to sell Little Caesars pizza inside of the Big Caesars, because it's only Big Caesars on the inside. Yes, this a is restaurant could just be called Big Caesars, and the delivery service could do the full fucking Chuck E. Cheese. Boot as and you Little can tell, Caesars is, a is the order one. Comedy. Wow, this what is in Canada delivery delivery. No, because then he gets to say Big Caesars. He gets to say Big Big instead of Pizza Pizza. Is this like a timing thing that I'm just being bad at, or is this... Well, the first thing you want to do is have Tricky set fire to the grate in the corner between the two doors. You can say little, little? Yeah, but... <laughs> you can say big, little, because there's a big and a little, little Caesar. What, one is a ghost kitchen? No, it's not. Oh, it's this? Still the same oh, yeah, this? This is pretty easy to notice. I understand why I had to do that first. That... Tricky had a question mark out of his head the whole time, and you were ignoring him. Ooh. I think that this is one of the most pointless and insane things you ever have it's talked not, about on stream. Of course it's pointless. It's an idea. It's I'm a bad, it's, it's a, a fucking idea. shitty idea. It's not a shitty idea. It's a literal if ass idea. If you saw, if you were, you two are at my house right now, and we said, let's get some, if, let's say this was a world where this was real, right? And you started this Little Caesars conversation, and I opened with, you know they have Big Caesars. Absolutely you would contemplate going to Big Caesars eventually. 
It would be the same conversation, but we go on the website and it's littlecaesars.com and it's real and you go, what the fuck, it's real? No, I would probably say, oh, Little Caesars sucks, so I don't really want to go Little to Little Caesars. Little Caesars is not fuck! It's good! <laughs> yeah, but that'd be like, no, Big Caesars is good because they have oh to make it Oh my god, right what the fuck do I do? What do I do? You, it, it's a big delay, but you just have to put out all the torches. Oh shit, okay, I understand. I can't believe the catchphrase would be big, big. Look, I'm not a catchphrase guy. I think you'd get it with this one on the right. Big, big was just the first thing that came to my head. Little Caesars is not bad. Little Caesars? Whoa. Yo, Little Caesars, the crazy bread, though? The crazy yeah, bread? A pepperoni pizza? Mmm. Delectable. That's such a great treat for me to eat for only five dollars. This fairy would be really hung up on it if it's real though. Oh, well, it's not. It's not Michelin star food. Okay. And this hypothetical, Whatever. we would only be saying big, big in candy. So can we stop? Can we go with the fucking big Caesars? I'm so sick of it. I'm so sick uh, of big Caesars. Excuse Ow. me for having an interesting hypothetical that the people it's then not are an in, It's of. not an interesting hypothetical. You're it's a shitty. Your Everyone's entire hypothetical hinges on the idea that big Caesars is so obscure and shitty that no one knows about it, and the it's entire not, thing that's interesting to learn about. People all, like to learn. Yeah, but once anyone knows that it exists, no one would ever go back to big Caesars. It's they a fucking terrible idea. It would be a fucking pizza. massive fail. No one would go there. Nobody cares enough about a pizza being bigger from a different, like, establishment to go there and pay more for it. It's the same it. place. Then why would I go there instead of Little Caesars ever? Because it's slightly bigger. It's the joke of it being called I would just Caesars. order two fucking Little Caesars pizzas. That's more expensive than one Big Caesars pizza. Okay, the but I get two of them. Is slightly more expensive than the normal one, but it's less expensive for you because you don't have to fucking order it. You have to pay delivery costs so they can upcharge it. You to don't have to de deliver. Little Caesars literally is like super into pickup. That's like half the point. You. You don't fucking. I can't believe this. Why? I of all of the this. rants you've had on this stream, this might be I the most pointless I one. I don't know why this has to be a big fight. I just think it'd be a good idea. I think you're fucking crazy. It's a good- it's like a perfectly fine idea. It's okay if you don't like it, but it's not bad. You don't have to like drill me for it. I have to drill you for it. You don't! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. If you would look big seriously, you probably would. This dude gets full off, off of like three mushrooms. He would die if he had a fucking pizza dude. <laughs> three mushrooms. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty sure Fox is best friend. Fox could also destroy a big Caesar's pizza. The great Fox is full of pizza boxes, remember? Con mm. Draper would like kill you. In, uh, in Mad Men, if no, you wouldn't. pitched a big Caesars to him, he'd hate it. <laughs> Invest in my company, where I'm going to acquire the rights to Little Caesars so I can make Big Caesars. I can pitch it to Little Caesars. It's a Caesar. really, really long process where I have to go become an advertising executive. No, and... it's in a hypothetical world, I have to do any of that shit. That world I've done already, that'd be where my life put me. Be the next Reggie Phils. You would not be the next Reggie Fills. Oh yeah? In an alternate in an alternate dimension I could, anything's possible. Sure, okay. I could I could come up with Big Caesars. Yeah, and my That's and my, my alternate universe I created. I created Big Caesars. I I did that. That's, I don't have a problem with that. Pointing, as as I did that. I think we're going in reverse. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. They could pop the sponsorship at any given moment. They could have a Super Bowl spot where someone finds out about Big Caesars. Give me a hug. Where are you going? Backwards. Just, I, I thought, sorry that I have to fucking... I can't just, like, turn on a dime. Sorry I don't treat you like a goddess. Is that what you want me to do? I would make Littler Caesar. Baby Caesar. And Baby it'd be Caesar like, it'd like, be like a smaller... No, you're not allowed to fucking interject. This is my idea. It would be a smaller okay. Little Caesars. That's all. Like It'd it. be like a small little Caesar, and you have to be really short to go there. You have to be the size of Little Caesar himself. 
You know those little uh, Red Baron pizzas at elementary schools? They'd be the yeah. size of those and be one dollar. My, make... my thing would also be it gets you really sick if you eat it. So yeah. that you all- no, but it, it's a good idea because then you can have an excuse to not go to work the next day. Yeah. That's so it's like too. so it's like food that get, makes you sick every time, but you don't have to go to work the next day because you're sick, and you're like, oh, I, sorry, boss, I ate at Littler Caesars, and they're like, oh, I went there, I got sick as fuck. Here's All right, that's problem. fine, man. Here's the problem, Cleve. Work makes me go in even if I'm sick. Okay. Get a better job. Yeah, that's I, your fault. I guess so. If you I work at a work in this work from home world, I think COVID will have destroyed. Or Caesars. Well, not and most most people do not work from home. If you work like a retail job, yeah, which I is know. What but most if you work a retail do. job, then you you you'll get damaged by Little Caesars. The balance isn't there. But you get like sick pay if you have a place that does sick pay, which not every yeah, place but does, but some jobs places do. What was the point of running around this whole thing? I don't know. I thought you I would go somewhere. I don't. Like, I don't understand that? what I fucking unlocked. Well, you you unlock that whole room. So maybe there's something in there. I don't know. You said your brother works at Minecraft, and that made me imagine a world where it's like, oh yeah, my brother's one of the villagers. I don't know what room I unlocked! They all look the same! Everything looks the same in this fucking shithole! Um, my brother moved to Minecraft. He's been on that, like, emerald grind. Is it this? trying to get emeralds from miners. A boost he trying to back like, a I can't oh. hear you, because Boot's talking! I don't know what's happening! Oh my god, come on. I just oh, want to make... You, you did have to be up there. Oh my god. You fucking threw me off with your like, why are you here? Well, What's I, happening? I, I, I don't know, I'm getting I'm getting why? misled by the <laughs> fucking world. The devil's deceiving me. I'm in sick the, of in it. the greater context of things, I was curious as to know the purpose of you being up there. I think you're a little Satan. Okay. I thought we were just seeing Crystal. I just want to see my sexy crap. Crystal who's trapped inside of her crystal. In the VR world, when everyone's Everything looks the same. Everything looks the be... same in here. There you go. Okay, found my fucking thing again. Of course rent is cheaper in Minecraft. You can punch some dirt and make a whole house out of it. Dude, Minecraft? If I was in Minecraft, I'd be a landlord so fast. I'd be fucking making money. I'd make a bunch of dirt houses and it'd cost you a billion emeralds to live there for five minutes. I'd be rich. I could trade to all the villagers, and you'd be fucked. You'd be fucked if you oh, lived in my okay, Minecraft there. world. I can't jump here. Oh, okay, I wanna just, do. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, I forgot. I have to shoot the orb. I think it's green. I can't tell. It's either it's green or it's blue. I think you just have to hit it. I think it's the same color as whatever is around it. No, it's not. It's clearly not red. I think it's blue. Like it fucking. Nope, it was green. Hooray! Yeah, if you look at my Minecraft world, I'm charging you a billion emeralds to live in your dirt house, and I'm not building a door. You have to do that yourself. I don't want. What to was the going. company that just left the metaverse? Disney. Disney left. The Disney metaverse. fired their whole yeah. metaverse team. Yeah, Disney said we're gonna fire seven thousand people in three separate rounds of layoffs, and their first round of layoffs was firing their fifty-person metaverse team, and that's it. So a lot of fucking people are gonna get fired all at once at some point, but it's not yet. Let's play. It's let's play. play. All right, tricky. Dude, go get it. I feel so bad for Facebook. Because they spent all they I had. Don't. First of all, the metaverse is, is crumbling. They're losing tons of money on it. It was a dumbass early shot. Not built for it yet. Bad timing. But they had that thing where all the, the meta metaverse guys looked like shit, and that was their biggest problem. Oh. Ricky, don't get that ball. Cleave. He's not getting it. He just, he's not interested. Okay. So what happened is, uh... No, it was not a money grab. With the amount of money they put into that, it, it's impossible for it to be a money grab. So, in case you're wondering what the point of the metaverse was, this is a fun fact for anybody, okay? Yeah. Um, the point of the metaverse was Facebook expected it to be big in, like, 20 It's a fucking ball trick, you- oh my god. Okay. The overall purpose of the metaverse is Facebook wanted to be the leader in VR slash metaverse type technology by the time that metaverse becomes something that's actually manageable and useful that people use. Which is they were like, oh, in 50 years we're going to be doing this. Because they were hoping to do like, 
what a lot of companies did with social media, where they happened to jump in on it, and then that became the way that people communicate. Yeah, and Metaverse yeah. was their gamble on that. Which is why they dumped all that money into it, because they're saying, yeah, we're spending all this money, we don't expect anyone to use it, but in 20 years, when people are like, actively using VR simulation shit, or whatever, and there's actual use for it, Metaverse is the one that people are going to remember. Which, I... to some degree, it probably is, because yeah. it's called the fucking Metaverse now. <laughs> I cannot fathom the the very idea of like yeah everyone's gonna want to wear VR headsets. That's all the, the time. biggest holdup, and yeah. the, the idea is that in the future oh, hold on. it won't be that bad. Hold on, wait a second. I want to talk about this, but I also need to see if a fun animation happens after I do this. I hope. Give me a Krizoa spirit. I don't know, we're just gonna go. Food! Food! Okay. Sport sound. Trick what the fuck did I do all that for? To bring part of the planet back down. Who gives a shit? I wanna free my sexy GF from her crystal oh, prison! To go to the fucking Peppy's Dinosaur Hi, Planet map. Fox. Right, go Fox. Back home. Go back to fucking Thorntail Hollow. Alright. We can talk about the metaverse again. Okay. So I have to backtrack so metaverse. much. In hopes of building a ground, that would be like a small thing that eventually grows into a big thing. But it failed miserably, and they're just losing tons and tons and tons of money on it because it's much harder to upkeep than they expected it to be. Yes. And also, Facebook as a whole is doing worse. You mean meta? Yeah, meta. Which, again, they're not too concerned about that because they're gambling on this being a thing in like 10 years. Which, we'll see how that works out. Not but well. the main thing is... It's going very poorly for them, and they put all of their money into making functional avatars, and nobody gives a shit. We have, have you, yo, you that? Felix. Thank you for the raid. What's up? We're uh, they did what the we're talking about the metaverse right now. Yeah, was, they had the thing where every meta avatar looked like a legless me. It was like a shitty. Oh like, yeah, I forgot game. about that. Like, they had like ugly fucking. I forgot that the metaverse. Meta, the like metaverse Xbox had like hor They look. The Xbox avatars look way better. Xbox avatars yeah. have legs. You just can't look at the bottom yeah. of their feet. They were like Xbox avatars with no legs, and then they said we have legs now, and they announced it, and it still looked like shit. And recently, the most recent thing that Facebook did. Thank you for the raid. They put all of their uh, resources into making better looking avatars, and they look pretty good now. They have completely fine looking avatars. Have they made like avatars that thing. look better than like a VR chat? Yeah, can I upload yeah, no, my first no question? Yet? Yeah, because I think from your persona. Yeah, I no, I think that VR chat's full of good models, but I think that VR chat's big problem. I've talked about this every time I complain about VR chat on my favorite life. My, mm -hmm. my my big problem with VR chat is just that every single map has terrible shading and it makes models look bad even if the model is like really yeah, good. Yeah, that's true. And I think that a lot of VR chat models will have like the ability to exist on other formats whenever VR chat is hopefully replaced by something better than VR chat, so it's like whatever. But it's like weird. The first person to make like a VR setting like VR chat that's well optimized and looks better than VR chat will be a fucking more billionaire for real. Anyways, I'm talking about metal. <laughs> They now are, their point is the meta guys are now on the level of an Xbox avatar. Yes. That's it. Wow. They, they look, they have, they have um, faces. I'm glad it took four billion dollars to get to this point. And that's it. They can raise their eyebrows now and they have proper hair. They have legs too. Ew. Ew. They Kill it. Legs. I'm linking a comparison in our group chat so that you can know what I'm talking about in case you haven't seen this. No, look, this guy's fucked, dude. Look what's happening. I hate his fucking leopard print diaper. Oh, this? I, I want to kill it so box. badly. I don't like this either. But I'm just saying, they got like... They reached a point where they said, okay, it has real faces now. And that's where they put very clearly all of their technology, because everybody who doesn't like it said it looked like shit. And it still does. Yeah. It still does, and there's no way around it. Oh, uh, for the record, the guide... The guide uh, writer uh, says about this chapter, I like this next chapter. You meet a new tribe on Dinosaur Planet. 
one not as virtuous as the Earth Walkers, but not as evil as the Shark Claws. Sort of the Batman or Wolverine of Dinosaur Planet. <laughs> <laughs> These are the Shadow the Hedgehog of Dinosaur Planet, if you will. True though, true. I love that every cutscene in this game is fucked up as hell. All of them are so fucking weird and, like, laggy and broken. You gave it to me! Go, Pikachu! Oh, by the way, these guys are also racist. <laughs> Against who? No, just like. Oh shit! What? Like a what? Of I was not character. looking at the screen for like it. one second. I didn't. You have to use the flame command while it's in the green. What year oh. is this guy from? Let's find out. Oh my god. Uh, 2002. They don't know I played Mario Golf. This looks hard. I would lose. I wouldn't be able to make it past this. Yes, you would. No, I can't do timing mini games. Yes, you can. I can't. I literally can't. Ah! Uh, like, you saw how much of a hard time I had with Bowser Throws. I had to, like, really, really push it. That's different. If Bowser Throws gave you an actual bar, I think you'd have them. No, no, bars, I can't do it. You can watch any stream where we have bars, I can't do timing. It fucks me up. Why? And I, I have a bad reaction time, but it's just like with a bar, it just can't do it. Uh oh. oh. <laughs> it's just gonna stab me repeatedly. Ooh. It's gonna take a very long time. This one's kind of hard. This last one's kind of hard. All right, we're good. Perfect. Perfect three-point landing. That's all of you fuckers whenever I stream. Every single time. Why are they... Who's tied up? Um... No, who's the bird? I guess... I guess you're all tied up, and you want me to stop, and when I stop, I don't... I don't, listen, I didn't say I had the whole fucking thing planned out. This isn't a big this isn't a big Caesars tier idea, okay? I haven't thought it all out yet. I don't have it all figured out. I don't got all the but not all the pieces are put in place. I just heard make the bird stop. Shut up! Don't question mark me! Mamma mia! It's kind we of need like a exclamation point poke Mario with needles. Can we put a sound cue on Poke Mario with needles, Cleve? Is that a thing we can do? I can't fucking do that right now. Not now, but like Mario Mario. with needles and clown coins. <laughs> yeah, like I think that's a good idea. <laughs> all right. I don't right. know which Mario Hurt sound I'd use. I think I would like to use Ooh! the horn sound from Mario Sunshine, where it goes. Oh! <laughs> like that you cut off when you did. I'm not having my Joker moment. But the oof is pretty good. Did you hear the Joker brought his girlfriend to the Joker stairs recently? It's really, really cute, really sexy, really it's cute. Very cute. Yeah, I think it's classy. I think that it's it's under it's slick and it's sexy when you poke Mario with needles. It's not That's like understated like that. It's is, not is like some. I do feel you like I want to around? replace some of my Maybe sound alerts. So Ooh, new sound alerts would be great. I feel like this year I want to get new sound alerts and I might like put it to a vote or something. I don't think I replace all of them, but like, okay, I'm just gonna ask chat. Open poll. Open poll. Conversation. Can I give my recommendations? I was asking chat first, but you could answer too, I guess. My recommendations for the keepers, the most important one to keep is Spongebob Sad Noise. I like Spongebob Sad Noise Spongebob a lot. Spongebob Sad Noise, I think, is the only one that's a 100%. Vine yeah. Boom is next. Vine Dinner. Boom's kind of outdated. I yeah, feel like I'm sick of Vine Boom. Good vine boom. People He's... do Vine Booms a lot, but I feel like they're just, I feel, on, like, I feel, like, I feel like they're not that funny anymore. I think I think they're always like a good timing to have, but I do get it. But SpongeBob is the number one. Vine Boom, I would like to keep. That's why I said like it, it could be very. SpongeBob's the only one that's important. Pink oh my is god, it's raining so one. hard outside. Like Jesus Christ. I I think my my order is uh, SpongeBob, Vine Boom. Uh, dinner Pingus. I think that's Pingus what. is okay. Pingus is outdated, but it's like a classic, you know. It's, it's just doesn't have much utility, you know. Dinner. Yeah. When are you ever gonna do it? 
people use Pingus all the fucking time. I but, like, but I, I also think I made it the cheapest one, so... Yeah! Yeah! Yeah. Die. You must die die is a good wooden too. block! I like no, Die. You must die is that like is not a carving. That's... There's just nothing cute. carved in there. Yeah, that's it. just... That's, this is just a block of meat that I found in the ground. It's for when you're Pingus. Like, I could replace Pingus with fucking any other YouTube poop type thing, and I'd be hyped. Yeah, I could see myself replacing Pingus with just something else that fits the same, like, genre. Because yeah. I think that Ed Pingus is fun because it's just, like, kind of, like, grand. It's kind of epic and random. You know, it's a little bit yeah, It's yeah. a little bit epic yeah. and random. Like, I, if I replace Pingus with Mama Beeper, I'd be uh, I, could, I could do Mama Beeper. Mama Beeper would be really good. Um, I, yeah, Vine Boom is in that camp where, like, I don't know. Vine Boom has been being ruined for me because people keep using it in their funny YouTube videos, and I don't think it's funny when people do that. Okay, it's funny. Fair. It's funny when it's on my stream, but it's not funny when anyone else uses it. <laughs> I do things better like than everybody right. else does. Here's the thing: Vine Boom is good for us because it is just used to accentuate something, so it's really handy. And also, I don't choose to accentuate things. It's up to the audience yeah. to choose. So when a Vine Boom happens at the exact right moment, it's because of God. Yeah. See? That timing was fucking great! That was such good timing! If I had the power to do that, it wouldn't have been funny. Which is why You're edited videos that feature that are not funny. But I think yeah. it is funny in context of stream because stream like chooses to do that. And it takes a level of like, there's so much delay between when I say something yeah. and when you hear it. That when somebody can... hears something that I says, or when someone just like does a predictive vine boom and it happens to be well placed, it's like funny. If we if we were to replace emotes, they have to be like utility wise the same. And what's the like for example, vine boom is very similar. To, let's say, you know when you know in SpongeBob when they do a cutaway, like a gross out shot, and it goes. Doom? You know no. what I'm talking about? You don't know that. When it like zooms in on something and it plays like the dumb guy sound, it goes boom. Not really. You would chat know that. I don't think I've watched much SpongeBob in like the gross out era. No, no, that's in old times when they would yeah, zoom but they, in, like but a they, close up. But they used it a little bit less then, so I don't think it permeated yeah, no, my like no, consciousness. That was, they, they don't use it anymore. Oh, well, I guess I just never permeated my, my consciousness then. I, I never really absorbed it. The joke of SpongeBob. You know that sound? Everyone knows that sound. Yeah! I don't? I yeah. yeah, I literally just said I don't know that sound, so maybe include me in it. No, you just aren't remembering it. You're like gaslighting me. I'm not gaslighting you. If you yeah, you know the sound. You know the sound. You just don't know it right now, but you do You do know it. Like, okay. You do. If you've watched SpongeBob, you know the fucking sound. Oh, oh my god. I fell into the open grave. Okay, what the fuck is this? Can Tricky set this like thing on fire? No, what don't is worry this? about this thing yet. <laughs> it looks I think pretty that we important. should make one of our sound alerts a Tricky voice line. No. We should make it. Let's let, play. Let, let's play. Let's there play. There's literally no reason to ever use that. <laughs> you just. Anyone chat wants attention. You just like Tricky. Anyone <laughs> <laughs> chat wants you to talk to them and step to play the video game. They can play the let's play sound. That's effect. the opposite of playing. Tell you that they need attention. Let's not play. No, they want you to play with them. Oh, we got to we got to do Zelda good. Good. Oh, good. Good. That's a good one. Good's a really good pick. In the early 2000s cartoon foghorn that I know that one. That that gag does 70 damage in Toontown online. Oh, we can't use up. that one. We can't I'm use so that sick one. of everybody <laughs> playing Toontown now. Dude, I can't do it. I can't fucking it's do it. It's a game for one year olds, bro. Play Pop Tropica instead, man. It's the there's same a lot shit. of strategy in Toontown these Yeah, there's days. a lot of strategy in Freddy Fish! Okay. There is a lot of strategy in Freddy Fish. There's more strategy in Freddy Fish. Freddy Fish, you gotta figure out what, 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 what things to click on. It's hard. Here's the thing, it's... Every single MMO is just a gaslight video game. It gaslights you into thinking that you're having fun by giving you an excuse to spend time with your friends. And it tricks you into thinking it's because of the video game. Why don't you want to throw pies at the VP with me? That's what I'm saying, Synth. If I did it, I'd have a wonderful time because I'd love hanging out with you. But if I did the video game and I was like with someone that I didn't like, then the game would be bad. It's just the people that you're with that defines it. I don't get it. What is this? Like, I, I need someone to explain this to me because it's blowing my. Where is this Toontown like resurgence coming from? Why is this happening right now? 
I know so um, many people playing this fucking play this fucking video game so, for one year olds right now. It's blowing my fucking brain out. I'm, I'm, I don't know what's going on. I'm so scared. I'm so confused. And I'm so scared. Help it's me. Not nostalgia. It's not nostalgia. There's... No one played it when they were a kid. No one did it. Fuck. It was a miserable failure when it was new. It was a piece I did of shit. For like six seconds. Yeah, that doesn't I, I count. I literally played it for one day. Yeah, that doesn't count. Um, but there's there's a there's a server called Corporate Clash, and back in November. They released a really big update where they added like 16 bosses. Okay. Um, and I think that's part of it. And then also Alpha Rad played it one time. I don't know what that is. He's a YouTuber. I don't know what yeah. that is. You do. Never used Give YouTube. Give it now, dude. Yeah, those boss designs are horny as fuck, man. Yeah, they are incredibly horny. What the like fuck is everybody it. talking about? I'm so. That's true. <laughs> Come here. They, yeah, they gonna... made the. They made the two town bosses very. Can somebody like, link me these? Yeah, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna link me. Link I'm gonna. I'm gonna tell you what I think on chat. I'm gonna show these on I'm, chat. I'm gonna I give my thoughts think, and opinions. You know when you know when a furry posts that you know that furry tweet that's like show me the, this. The, the, the artist knew what they were doing when they made this, and it's like the. It's most just like a guy. Variety. It's always just like a a, yeah, a, no. a, a fox it's that stands. It's the exact kind I'm of brand. A, that I'm linking a wiki there. article. It's this right. is the worst. It's not that one. Uh, you want to scroll down to street managers and kudos managers. Okay, hold on. Let me, let me look at all these. Uh, I'm not seeing it, buddy. This is like literally a fucking little anime, babe. <laughs> street managers? Uh, the ones that people gravitate towards are Duck Shuffler, what Fire are you Starter. About? There aren't anywhere on this list. What are you talking about? Yeah, they are. You have to scroll way down to regional managers. I've scrolled way down to trivia. Well, let's scroll up a little. Regional managers? Yeah. Okay. This is not horny. This is just a guy. Like I said, Duck Shuffler, uh, I don't Fire think... Starter, Rainmaker, Multi-Slacker. This is a fucking... Telephone. This is a this is a GI Joe <laughs> villain. Uh, yeah. Oh, I'm jacking off right now, man. What's going chainsaw on? Chainsaw consultant um, <laughs> and litigator. You fucking kidding me? Listen, the robot fuckers are really into chainsaw yeah. consultant. Oh, this guy yeah. looks like someone on Tumblr would fuck him, right? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I like that's slash what I'm neck. About. Chainsaw consultant has like a. a I'm trying to- I'm not looking at the names, on. I'm just gonna tell you when I, like, see a guy that I'm like, <laughs> I could see someone wanting to fuck this, and so far it's the one. We gotta figure oh, it out. Oh, this but... guy, this guy, I guess, people are probably wanna fuck, cause he's, oh, like, a generic yeah. furry thing, yeah. What's your opinion on scapegoat boot? This um, thing? Is this scapegoat? Okay, it's this thing. He looks kinda like up. ass. A little fucked up. As the goat guy, a little, little bit fucked up. Yeah, he's kinda ugly. You have, to remember, you have to remember, we live in the FNAF generation, you have to remember- Oh what yeah, I guess, right that's now. what I'm saying, it's for fucking one-year-olds! FNAF is for, <laughs> it's for newborn no, babies, people, people play FNAF. Up FNAF. Wait, wait, people who grew up on FNAF are 20 now. No, they're not! Yeah, they are. How long has FNAF been around? No, they're fucking not, dude. They're no, no fucking mm -hmm. white people who grew yeah, up on yeah. FNAF. No, when the fuck did FNAF come out? They're fucking freaking me out right now. FNAF came out in 2014. 10 years ago. On, that's, you're, you didn't grow up on it. Yeah, if you I played, if, if you, you were played, 10, I guess you'd be if 10, you were 10 or, and you yeah. played FNAF. Oh. Even more than that, if you were 10 and you watched Markiplier play fucking FNAF. Yeah. We, it's a, oh. we, we, we're living in a society. Oh, yeah. I feel like the, the current generation is fucked, bro. <laughs> These is, kids are gonna have why, bad taste. I'm 25, I'm, 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 I'm like 25. I'm not, I'm five years older than that. That's not even yeah, that crazy. Yeah, no, you're, you're just past the gap. Um. Scott Cawthorn's religious brainwaves from FNAF made everyone into a prude, and that's why we have so many, uh... That's probably true. <laughs> yeah. This is a nightmare. I'm not um, old. I'm 25. Like aging, like that scene from Saving Private Ryan. I am more 26. I'm 26 in, like, two months, to be fair. But still, yeah. I'm curious. fucking... It's Quave is, Quave is legitimately the oldest person here. No, I'm not. You're both older than me. Yeah. What? Yeah. 
You're <laughs> bo literally no both older than me. No way, that's not true. You're just trying to cover the fact. I'm that you're probably old. older than like several people in chat, but not even everybody. I know I, I got people who are who I got a lot of people who are are, are older than me. Uh, who it's hang not out. gaslighting. It's just normal lying. <laughs> it's not gaslighting because it's not convincing at all. It's just like saying <laughs> something wrong. I think I'm older than. Um, it's funny that I always remember forget how old I am when I have the easy birth to remember it. Look. It's so about. easy. Wait, did you pause the game? Yes, because I was looking at the fucking characters okay, in Toontown and starting to oh. understand people why people want to fuck them and I don't get it still. It doesn't make any Someone sense said, to me. Somebody says Boot always forgets how old he is because I have an easy birthday to remember. My birthday is December thirty first. That's a problem. Because it's the, not the normal a problem. Way, stop. The normal way that you remember your birthday is you subtract. Uh, what do I do here? Your by the way? You subtract I... your birth year from. You're looking the... for the third carving. You subtract your birth year from the year that you were born, from from the year that it is. You and literally just have to that... subtract one more. Yeah, I know, but I don't remember which way I have to do it. I don't remember for that to go up or down. Oh my god! Because if I was born on the first, I have to go one up, which yeah. I think is wrong. It's confusing because I'm only you can only it only works right. The subtraction thing only works right one day of the year, and then on every other day it doesn't work. And I know that it doesn't work, but I don't know if it goes up or down, so I don't know how it's old I am. easy because you can just compare your age against mine. That's literally what I use to know how old you are. I'm two years older than you for until most of the year, I'm and then until right until birthday, my birthday passes, older. which is easy because my birthday is literally like right at the middle of the year. Yeah. So you're two years older than me for half the year, and one year older than me for the other half of the year, and that's it. And you're 26. I'm 25. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. you're turning 26. I'm 25 right now, I'm 26 in June. So I'm going to be... So right now, you are I'm 26. I'm 28 at the end of the year. At the end of the year, I'm turning 28. No, right now, you're 26, and you're going to be... No. No, right now you're 27. I'm 27. Right now you're 27 and you're going to be 28 then. You get it! You got right? mixed up too! I got mixed up because I forgot about my age. Why don't I, you remember I, how old you were I, last year? You exp I don't think about it, dude. I don't think about it. Yeah, you are one age for a whole year. So it would technically yeah. be easy if you think about your age frequently. I don't think about my age frequently. I I've think about my think age all age. the time. I'm oh. constantly stressed out by getting older. Really? Yeah. I I don't even think about it. I think I'm, I'm gonna. I think my midlife crisis is gonna happen. You think it's going to happen? No, I think it's not gonna happen. I think I'm just gonna miss that. I think that your mind's uh, gonna be blown when you're like forty. I don't think so. You're going back to where you were imprisoned, and apparently there's places to put those symbols in. I think I've seen places to put the symbols in, but it wouldn't let me interact with them until I had them. Not here. here. Not here. You're fast comparing your age to other people. It's like, I I don't know anyone's age because like there's a there's a certain point where age stops like mattering in your brain. Like, as someone who has a job with a lot of co-workers that all, like, chat and get along, I don't know how fucking old anyone is. Like, you have to get up there and out on that, on that hill you're near, I think. Half the people I know have fucking, like, kids. Half the people I know have had a job for, like, ten years. I don't fucking know how old people are. FYI, your body's gonna really start hurting when you get to 30. Yeah, that's fine. That's okay. I mean, doing doing stretches is important. That is, that is, that's yeah, true. Yeah, Do yeah. stretches, everybody. Keep your body vaguely limber. My midlife brace is gonna involve grilling. I already grill. I already do all I've the midlife brace shit. I've never seen you grill. That's because you haven't been in New Jersey where I have a grill. You've seen me use my grill pan, and that the methodology. Count. Yeah, but the methodology is pretty similar. I'm looking this up, by the way. I'm gonna figure it out. This game is so unclear when it comes to giving you any like direction as to how you get to a thing or do a thing that it's crazy. Anyways, now I feel. Yeah, you do have to get back on top of this hill. Yeah. It's one of the things that you do. Go on. I'm sorry. What? No, I said go on. I don't know what I was going to say anymore. You, you have to off. feed tricky mushrooms. I'm, I'm drowning. I was saying, what are the things that you do when you get a midlife crisis? What are like the things that you drop? Buy, buy you expensive thing. Buy a new car. 
buy a new car. It's generally just you. Most most of the stereotypical stuff is stuff that would make buy a car. person feel younger again. Buy a motorcycle. Start running the other way. There's a lot. Oh, you can keep going. You can keep going. There's a ladder near the weird thing. A convertible at the open grave. I have a convertible. This, this I have way. a convertible. I know how to ride a motorcycle. Like I've got all my shit down. Don't ride, I'm, I'm anti you riding a motorcycle, though, so you have to put up with that. Yeah, you, That's my that terms. That's your terms? That's my terms. I'm anti motorcycle. Motorcycle's, mo motorcycle's scary. Oh, yeah, buy Twitter and change the icon to Doge. I'm with a little, a little, a little non transparent sliver on it and Hello. don't fix it ever. I'm, I'm so excited for the, the site to just stop functioning. It's gonna be funny. There was a whole, like, over 24 hours where my entire following feed would not tell me if something was retweeted or from a person who I follow, and it was, like, unbearable. Yeah, that was really cool. The fact it took so long to fix, too. Like, that's a I'm thing that saying. any other website would fix pretty quickly. Tweet Deck didn't have the issue. If the site stops, if the site stops functioning, I'm not using, I'm, not, I'm never streaming again. <laughs> You can I'm, imagine me getting into ceramics. I can just go through it again ceramics. I would love to get into, into resin. I would get big into resin if I got into like a thing like that. Um, yeah. Put all the blocks in there. It didn't give me like an animation for anything that happened. Maybe it opened the door. That was close. Some platforms will rise up a bit to the north. Oh, I see. Yeah. Do you plan on going to the When We Were Young concert in Las Vegas where all the 2000s alt rock bands are playing? I think it's very cool. That already happened, I think. That already happened? That already happened and it got cancelled because of weather, so it didn't actually happen. Huh. It got... It's weird that that could just happen, like it doesn't just get delayed. Yeah, I think that they cancelled like a day of it. Okay. I don't know if the whole thing got cancelled, but that was a while ago. This, this is, uh... Old news. Look, all I'm saying is, it does, I'm, I don't feel old very easily. Yeah, you're, we're not old. Yeah, I know, but like, a lot of my friends are like, man, this shit makes me feel really old. Oh. I'm excited to be 30. I'm fucking sick I'm of- so I'm so I'm sick of the youth. I am eager to be old, dude. Not Every like- Every time I, I think about, oh, I'm getting so old, I also think of, end up thinking about, just open that, <laughs> I think. Yeah. It's, but, you're at the wrong angle. Oh, yes. fucking Christ. Um... I also inevitably end up thinking about, oh my god, it feels like I've been on the planet forever. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, no, life, life is, uh, life's awesome like that. After 25 years, that marry as much. It's true. The past, like, couple of years have been pretty fast, but yeah, it's mostly hard. because there was a long period of time where literally nothing happened. On the hut. If you guys get 30, you have to stop watching. You can't handle gray furs. The term is gray muzzle. Yeah. Also, gray muzzles, the cutoff, the, the gray muzzles used to literally be like, like 50. The yeah. fucking corrupted, stupid youth of today has I mean, exaggerated dude. what a gray muzzle is because <laughs> they're so afraid of getting older. Yeah, it's true. Gray muzzle, gray muzzle used to mean furry who was 50 years old because there weren't very many. Yeah. Now it means anyone who's above 18, I guess. <laughs> when you're old yeah, enough to I'm have a brain that shit. works properly, you're a gray muzzle. So maybe I Dude, my brain oh my god! He's so fucking buff! The guy on the right! He's just a human man! <laughs> He's got the kangaroo bot on him. What the hell's wrong with this dude? Some say he was built by the Cresor. Do you want to see for yourself, maybe? Stupid You've kind of replaced the feeling of being of old with, like, being excited for your shit being made. Ah, so oh, that sucks, too. Oh, no, here's the trick. You have to find a filmmaker or a media producer that's 20 years older than you, because you're going to live to see everything that they potentially make. Well, Dude, I'm too worried about technology marching on. Marching on. I think we're doomed. Right, I think we're not. I think everything is going to be awesome. Take a look at oh. this. <laughs> do you want to do the tracking test? Who will mend you? Oh, no. Do I want to mash against a muscle foot? Or do I want to... We'll do... have to do both eventually. 
Mashing. You want to put your brain in the robot chef? I'm going to become one of those little cat boy robots that wanders around and gives you coffee. I'm planning on becoming a mortal. Oh god, can you imagine? Why would you want that? Like, what's the I point? I get to yeah. play every video game that comes out. I get to play Mario 68. True! <laughs> Alright, um... Go, Queef, go! You gotta, you gotta mash. You gotta mash. Go, go, go! Alright. Alright. Uh, here's what the, the guide has to say about this section. Uh... Like little, please, 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 please do not email me saying you can't be contestant of strength. I have no further tips other than to get someone else who has fast fingers to do it. If I receive an email regarding this, it will be deleted. Oh my god! Oh my god, poor guy. I don't know why, but this that section uh, is apparently a nightmare for children. What, the test of strength? Yeah, that doesn't surprise me. Yeah. Here's the thing, I use my strategy that I use only sometimes in Mario Party when I want to try hard a mashing game. Is it which I you Yeah, I, I usually finger- I, I don't fingernail usually because I don't care enough. You have to understand, every time that we play Mario Party on stream, I'm never try harding, ever. Yeah. Because it's like, I feel mean if I try hard against, like, friends and stuff. I only try it's hard so if cool. I'm like- Oh, that's interesting. It is! I, 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 but I, there's a specific thing I do if I want to mash and I really want to yep. do it and I really want to win. I think I've done it once. I've, I've done going. it one time ever on stream, I think, where I like slayed at fucking mashing and I, I never used to have again. that down. I can't do it anymore. You have to like spasm your hand muscle more or less to just like. Do well, I don't, I, I do a thing can. where I put my, like my, the, the back of my fingernail against the A button and I just like yep. slide it across back and forth really, really, really quickly. Oh, yeah. And I do it so intensely that my heart rate increases like drastically <laughs> while I'm doing it. Cause I like yep. hold my breath and strain my entire body. I, yeah. I don't know. I, I, it's like, it's like excessive. It's just not worth it to me to play a pressing mini games. Do I have to do know? both of these? Yeah, I, it, I think yes, it's the one time I beat Noel mashing was I did it that way. Yeah. Usually I don't. Usually I just mash normally because I don't care enough. Yeah, it makes me feel unhealthy when I... It makes me feel unhealthy when I mash so hard that I feel like I just like ran for a second. I should start competing with just Boo. A nice third place what? competition. What? In Mario Party Mashing. Why would that be a third place competition? Because... Are, I, are you kidding? I try as hard as I can every single time. Mashing? Yeah. Well, I mean, it's like Noelle usually gets first well, place I don't do Mashing. I know the thing. I, I've won a couple. I popped in there, but it's like it, for me, it's like a rhythm. When I get the right rhythm with it, I get like the motion down. I can do it forever, but uh, I I know like two seconds in if I'm winning mashing. Um, it's uh, behind you to the left, I think. Isn't this one like in the middle though too? No. Looks like it. Uh, to the right. I, I see. Sorry. One. That's a tree. No, that. Oh, that. Okay. Oh, you're so much smarter. Than me. That ground blade, no! I think that's gonna cost you a whole minute and 15 seconds. Turkey loved it. No! Dude, I gotta get back on the ring, but like. Who needs to mail me my leg? I have to find the leg. To ring fit. I like leave my ring fit. Isn't that one? Then... No, it's to the left. We're just looking at it. Oh, that? Left. Oh, God. It's all blends together. I was enjoying Ring for for a while, and then I definitely like fell off once I got back to my house and didn't have the space yeah. for it. By the way, I think I've said this before. I think I said this you before. It. I don't know where you actually. Right. I think I've said this before, but when I move into Boots House, one of my uh, stream goals, one of my very yeah, there's regrettable... a climbable wall back there. One of my regrettable stream goals is oh my god, the fucking birds are back. 
is I want to... I'm fucking gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I'm going to get a VR rig eventually, and I'm gonna do a VR oh stream God. at some fucking really? point. I want to do... Really? I want to have VR solely for streaming purposes, because it's a content mine. I'm gonna... I think we do this in, like, a year so that we have real video games. Give it, like, five years and we'll do VR streams. I don't, no one I, good I don't know if I'm game. streaming in five years. We'll see that. That, that that's 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 a lot of commitment. I can't say anything that I'd still be doing in five years. I wouldn't play Half Life Alex on stream. I think that's like what, that's like what too options much. options do you have other than that? It would just be good for like bad video games. You play Bartender Simulator. Yeah, you I would play, play Bartender uh, Simulator. Play... Yeah, a Bartender Simulator. I'd finally do the bartending stream. You could play a game where you pretend to shoot a gun. You could play a different play game those. where you pretend to shoot a gun. You could play a different game where you pretend to shoot a gun. You could play okay. Half -Life Alex. No, here's the thing: is I would play the one. I play the one game where you pretend to shoot a gun, but you also can set your own player model, and it has like physics related to your player model. And by that point, it also have a three thousand dollar like carry model or something. They'd you be play really Bone awesome. Pretend to climb up a ladder. Boneworks also no. That's a that's a pretend to shoot a gun game. Yeah. Every single game in VR sucks. You're right. VR You're... chat doesn't count as a game, also. It sucks, too, though. It sucks as a game, but it's a virtual chat app. And as a virtual chat app, it's perfect. Yeah, that could be better. Yeah, I'm sure. But, like, I don't know. It um, does the job. Apparently, now that you've passed these trials, if you run around to the huts, you can ask... You can help mothers find their three babies. That's something you're interested this in. This big Caesars from TV thinks that VR sucks. Yeah, I'm right. I'm full of good ideas. I think there's. <sighs> I just don't buy it, dude. I don't buy it. I don't fucking the get it. Like, get the entire structure of this video game is nonsense. I need to really state that. I beat the trials and uh -huh. unlocked that door. I can't really seemingly do anything in that door, but I did unlock the ability to help mothers find their babies in these huts, which wasn't mentioned by anybody as far as I can yes. tell. It's just a thing that I incidentally was able to unlock. Like, oh, ev bonus. every single thing you do just lets you do something that's not related to that thing at all. And this time we have Synth here to be a wonderful guy. Oh, like, unlock the soul stone and I can go somewhere new. Hold on, I've been abducted and now I'm in this stupid fucking village. And I have to just be here for a while. Oh my god. Her babies love to climb trees. They should and she work. has frozen solid. <laughs> I guess her babies love to climb trees. I bet they're in those trees. Hey, maybe. Ugh. Alright. Beat Saber is a decent VR game. Because games like Beat Saber are all that VR is like good at making still. Yeah. You can make oh. a video Any game, game that's good in VR would be good in the Nintendo Wii, and that's a I forgot part. about a, a very embarrassing con story. I think this was like my first VLFC. They had yeah. a, um, a, a Beat Saber setup, and I got really stressed out because I didn't know how the menu worked, and I got embarrassed that I was holding everybody up, so I just took it off and left, and I, I was, like, crying. <laughs> oh my god! You're crying? I, yeah. No, I was like, couldn't figure out so how Beat Saber worked? For me. I couldn't oh figure out how the menu worked. No, that's yeah. so fair. That's, like, completely fair. I think that's... That's not embarrassing. Well, it's embarrassing, but think, it's not, like... I think it's a little bit embarrassing. embarrassing. I, I would be embarrassed like if, I, if I was in that. I, I don't yeah, judge like, I, people I based bad. on whether or not I'm embarrassed. Like, man, that's fucking cringe. I think if like yeah, if yeah, I exactly. did this, would mm. I be embarrassed? And the answer is yes. Absolutely, I would. Yeah. I would be embarrassed if I did that. I hate shit like that. I hate having to figure something out in something that potentially is a cue. That's one of the reasons that I like can't play online multiplayer games because the idea that I might not know how to do something you is like fuck, three, fuck it, dude. Rock it. Your baby lo your babies love to climb trees. That's what I did with, with Overwatch, and everyone loves playing with me. I can't comment on that. I don't know if it's true or not. I was trying to bait Synth into saying something mean. I heard Overwatch and I tuned out. Okay, that's fair. What that's am fine. I doing, man? Uh, well, Looking there's two more moms. moms. Find them. <sighs> Oh, there he is. No, he's not. 
Oh, well, hold on. The fucking stupid bird is gonna Wait. attack me. What do you do about this shit? You just take damage. Look out for my three babies. I think they're in the forest. What the hell? Why do they talk like this, dude? Why do they do us like that? Because it's rareware. I guess so. I guess so. <laughs> oh my god. Once you find the third mom, I'll uh, let you know where all the babies are. Third mom's gotta be right here. Not so sure. Yeah, their about houses that. are fucking miserable. There's nothing in there. They just stand around and freak out all day. My babies, they are so naughty. <laughs> what the hell, man? Holy hell. This game might suck. Babies. I feel like yeah. I'm slowly doing a like 180 driving. on this game. I was like, man, this game this game's overhated, and the longer I play it, the more it's like this game might be just hated enough. This game might be rated. <laughs> the things people say about this video game may actually may actually make sense. Do I have to go out that gate to find their babies? There's, yeah, there's... Let, let's see. Uh, go outside the gate to the outer pathway where the trees are. Start whacking trees. Hit each of them only once. Three little guys will eventually start falling out of them. I got it. Is this the most British Star Fox game? Oh, that's what these were for the whole time. Oh, I hit it twice. Uh oh. Yep. All right, these ones, these ones don't count. Trading each of them one time again, because I think it's only those three trees with the targets on them. <laughs> I... Yeah? What? I... Maybe you do have to hit the other trees. Huh? I can't... I don't know why that gate opened. I, uh, I don't the guide even... is not clear about this. You start hitting other trees. The most start carry your vibes. You have to go kill five rats, Fox! Um, I don't. I'm kind of confused. Hit every tree once. I'm feeling a little bit lost. Oh wait. Oh. There you go. Uh, All right. Uh. Apparently, there's three of them. Can you like see them in the tree if you look up? Man. I don't know what to say right now. <laughs> this is rough. This is rough! <laughs> Alright. Alright. I got their three babies out of the uh, trees. Go back to the... Go back to the, uh... Well, whatever, where you, the, the village. Should I go talk to the woman? Uh, not yet. We're gonna find the rest of the babies. Whew. This is not the way to the village. I'm feeling sick. This, uh, huh? What? What? What is happening? Huh? Oh, this is how you get back in. <laughs> Why? Why is he locking me out? I'm helping them find their fucking kids. Because they're terribly stupid. <laughs> Am I having fun? I don't know what I'm having right now. 
we're passing time. I'm like being entertained in the uh -huh. same way that when I look at like the internet for a while, I'm entertained. This is where I just came from. Yeah, but the gate's to the left, past this wall. You told me to not go here. But you went too far. <laughs> like if I'm scrolling on TikTok, like just as a passive activity and I'm like ac uh, I'm accomplishing nothing then that's what this is like right now go to the northeast of this area and you want to go up to that totem pole and no that didn't. this is northeast it's less northeast that, that the totem pole that you have to boost to get up to is where you want to go so like this yeah so northwest Pretty much straight north, actually. It's this game, it's insane. This game shouldn't require blue. <laughs> They'll be running around blue. up here. I don't know why blue is here. Blue. Oh, there they are. That's bluey. Oh my god. Oh, he's freaking out. He's Ew. freaking out. Do these numbers mean anything? They're, uh, well, that's di the, the one in the upper left is distance to target. Okay, okay. And oh, then the bottom is them with a pole. I have this to is actually the worst in tulip. We were just talking about tulip today. I was talking about how I wanted to play Captain Rainbow. It was oh, you, oh you want to chase them to that blue? Oh, I have to take them to the blue. Oh. Yeah, that, oh. that tracks. Oh. Why wouldn't I want them to go to the blue? Why are they wearing pizza shorts? They're leopard print diapers. They all just got back from Big Caesar. <laughs> oh, he, he died. Big Caesar did, does I eliminated him. <laughs> I'm, tr <laughs> I'm trying to figure... So they the, don't... I'm trying to understand... I'm trying to suss out where exactly this game may may, may place on my games I've streamed tier list. Oh my god! In terms of, like, quality. I don't... I don't know. Give it pushing from the other side. Nice. Alright. I feel well, like I this isn't all... very um... good. I feel like this game is not the best game in the world. This is the low point. The little dinosaur is going. Woo! Yeah! Yeah! And, and the, the other last ones, ones are kids... in that underground area. And lastly, there's no tricky right now. That's a that big That underground issue area? What? The, what the, like the pit that I knocked the guy in? This game looks very boring. No. no. <laughs> it's actually oh, not tricky. tricky. What are you doing down there? She loves the the door that opened after <laughs> the two trials. Oh my god, I just tipped over a glass. Was he just digging not a hole for fun? The like, under the big hill in the middle. Oh, that, okay. I forgot that that door opened because it didn't really seem to matter at all. <laughs> this game looks very boring. Thank you for noticing. Yeah, hey, how do you think it feels playing it? I think it feels pretty fun. I'm having a great You're time. You're not playing the game! Oh, yeah, but I'm having fun watching it. Oh my fucking god, bro. Ah. Go in the fucking blue. <laughs> it sounds like a fucking South Park character. Woo! Do your best South Park impression. No. Of, do an impression of South Park. No. South hey, I'm, Park. I'm Kenny from South Park. Question mark. Yeah, they sound like Cartman. Cartman South I Park. Do. Oh my God. This is. It's so fucking. This is so fucking boring. This is so fucking boring. What would Cartman do if he was a dinosaur planet? Die? I think he would die. I don't you, think Cartman would survive. Tricky, you would beat me to Tricky and Tricky would <laughs> eviscerate him and rip his entrails out. You're I so... Can't. You hate South Park so much that you're putting your... You're like, my kin would kill Cartman from South Park. <laughs> the character I kin would, would really <laughs> kill him in a super out of character way for no reason. You're not wrong. That was my exact mindset. Hold if on. a character I don't like enters a, a video game or world that I do like, oh, he's doing the role thing. If right. a character I don't Eleanor like enters knocked a... over everything on my desk. Good for her. 
I like, she that. knocked my mouse pad off my desk and my mouse. I have to, like, set my shit back up again. Hold on. She does not want me to play Dinosaur Planet anymore. She's sick of my I shit. Think, I don't think kin is the right word. I just like him a lot. You, like, constantly talk about how much you love Tricky and, like, your thing is, your I guy like is him. Tricky. I like him a lot. He's really cool. Okay. All right. Now you can go claim your rewards from all those. Let moms. me go talk to all the moms that I saved the kids of. The one I don't think thing there's in, a mom up here. The thing in chat I really agree with is I agree with with Pang. I do think that Cartman's voice in early season South Park is kind of funny. I think it's it's a fun, it's a funny voice. It's a silly voice that they do. That's pretty much my entire opinion yeah. of South Park, though. Is it fair for like my opinion of it to my opinion is just like I don't care. Yeah, here's the thing. Here's, here's I don't. The thing. I don't. I don't really care. There was a point in time where all these shows had fucking characters in them, dude. When I was a fucking kid growing up, I, I would go to the mall and I'd see T-shirts for Family Guy and South Park, and they all have like the evil monkey, the big chicken, and yeah. the big shit guy from South Park, and like all these little fucking characters. None of them exist anymore. No, no, nobody knows a single new South Park character. Nobody knows a new Sim Simpson. No one's gonna ever get to that point. I think people do. Because South Park is really popular with, like, Newgrounds kids now. Yeah, but I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about in the real world. <laughs> None of those kids exist. Yeah, no, there's like... They're all it's like illusions. Saying, it's, like this thing, it's like saying there are Owl House fans in the world, right? Oh yeah, there are yeah, no Owl House fans watch the Owl House fans. Yeah, that's None not in the yeah. real world. That show got cancelled, and all the Owl House fans were like, why? And it's like, yeah, because you were the only person who watched it. No real no human hate. being watched no it. No, no, it's not because it's, no it's bad, it's just because it's like no one watched it. Yeah, yeah. And that's how it feels like. It feels like these things are, uh... It feels like it, there hasn't been a new South Park character that would show up on a t-shirt at The Gap in, like, 20 years. You mean Hot Topic. I think it's like a Hot, hot Topic. Hot topic. The, yeah. uh, the Venn diagram of people who watch the owl house and people who have cable uh is two circles yeah but hey the venn diagram of people who watch the owl house and people who paid to watch the owl house is yeah. also two circles incidentally <laughs> oh God. they started they they're they're putting the the last three episodes they or they have been putting the last episodes on their youtube channel the Venn diagram because they know. You yeah, know? the Venn diagram of any show that has an online fandom of like gay people and any show that has gotten any ratings at all from those people is, is two circles just every time. And I'm saying that as a gay person who does not pay for television ever. I'm part of the I'm problem. The, I'm, I think I'm the only gay person I know that pays for TV. Yeah, I'm part of the problem. I do not. I do not pay to watch any television show. I watch baseball every single night, so. I gotta pay for TV. I could pirate it, but it's more convenient. Whoever did game. this character's voice, I hope is like sick right now in real life. I hope they're ill now. Steven Universe was popular in the real world for a while. It that's stopped it? eventually. Yeah, no, it was. Yeah, that's the thing. Highest Season ratings one. of any Disney Channel show in the 2020s is like, I don't know. <laughs> I can't even compare it again. It's it's like the high that that's almost like having the highest ratings of any Disney Channel show in the 2020s. SpongeBob is the most successful TV show on Nickelodeon for 26 years years straight. So uh, hug no. the left wall and there's Well, I want to get I want to get my fuel seals. Okay. Some channel is negative viewership right now. Yeah. Yeah, Steven Universe had like an actual popular fan base. Part I don't believe it's on you. Cartoon Network. No, it did. For how long though? Because I feel like they started doing that uh, Steven Bombs shit. These aren't the platforms for the fuel cell house. No, the, 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 you have to remember, people actually watched the Steven Bombs. They actually did. This? That's why they. That's why they started doing them for like every other TV show. But it just it's really annoying. Yeah, you know? it's a, objectively think, the worst way to watch a show. Up until like the third time they tried it, I think people were still watching Steven. My Universe. Steven Universe story is: I think I watched the first like Steven Bomber too, and I was like, yeah, man, was yeah, hey, man, I'm, like, li oh, I'm cool. liking this stuff. I like the characters. I like everything. 
And then at some (laughs) point, there was a Steven Bomb where Boot and I watched it up to the episode Onion Friend, and we never watched Steven Universe again. We watched Onion Friend, and we were like, I don't fucking care about this show anymore. That was my breaking point. That was my breaking point, was I waited, and I waited so I could watch the episode Onion Friend, and then I never fucking watched the fucking stupid-ass show ever again, because I didn't give a shit. I was like, okay, you know what? This isn't worth my fucking investment i just oh don't care God. oh that's so funny dude people used to get so mad about onion he sucks to be fair motherfuckers used to if you said that you thought onion the hell sucked, is this? people would like try and kill you it's uh that wall in front of you and it was on steven universe back in the day you, you were not allowed if you're on you steven universe left. fandom on tumblr yeah, i'm just looking if at you wall. said any character was bad motherfuckers would literally like rip you apart there it is. They were tearing apart like African wild dogs, dude. Yeah, onion, onion sucked. I, I, hey Grim, I have no fucking idea what you're talking about, but I just believe you. I, and I'm imagining this is just being about real people, by the way. I'm, I, I'm not imagining this as being about like crystal no, gems. No, that, that was I'm, a thing that happened. Did he like have I'm friends who like emigrated from a different country and he forced them to work on no, a farm? What the got, fuck is he Steven got, doing? This guy he sucks. Got Parrot, he got Peridot and Lapis Lazuli to go to his racist uncle's farm, who he does have. His racist uncle is real. There's a racist uncle? Yeah, and Steven, Steven what? The he has a racist uncle in that show? Yeah. What? Yeah. No one told me this. That was like the most disliked character in the TV show. I did not know this yeah. character. Yeah. I did not know this character. Ronaldo. People, people disliked Ronaldo. Yeah, because they saw themselves in him. <laughs> most of the characters that are disliked widely by fandoms are unpopular because every it fucking person who watches the show is like, oh man, he's too much like me. It's getting too real. And you, you like hate on him because you project onto him in a weird way, you know? That's how it always is. Ronaldo was too online, and everyone who watched that show was too online, so they were like, I hate him, because it's too much, it's too real for me. Good to see Steve. I've been- I do it all the time. Okay, you now you want to go back underneath the hill in the center. Uh, what was the point of me coming up here? All I did was get a cheat token! You got Bob's a cheap burger. token and a fuel cell, and there's a buffon dad there if you need it. <laughs> this... Somebody said Bob's Burger, and it's making me think, is Bob's Burger a real, a real people yes, show? Yes, Bob's Burger is and a real people thing, show. I don't think it is, but I think the first five minutes of Bob's Burgers are a real people show. Bef- I think people are familiar with the first five minutes of any given Bob's Burger episode. See, I think of Bob's Burgers as a real show, because I think it's too boring for online people. It's like a boring show. No, it's, it's just Bob. Like, Bob, Bob just makes people. fucking burgers all episode. Who gives a shit? I don't fucking care. <laughs> all right, oh, he's making minutes. another burger. Whatever. Just display thirty minutes of burger grilling. <laughs> okay. Like, every episode, it's so weird. Oh, his his kids are weird. <laughs> Whatever. Oh yeah. He, oh, he sounds like he sounds like every other fucking character voiced by that voice actor. Okay. Does ben one voice. Von Benjamin. Yeah, he does one thing. Okay, I get it. Oh, he's so normal and relatable. Uh, you want to find the crates behind you, I think. I have have no opinion about Bob's Burgers, by the way. I don't give a shit. I I tried watching it one time, and I think I was, in fact, just kind of like, alright, I don't really connect with any of the jokes in this. I'm not laughing. I should be LMAOing more. I see which ones. Those have a plan. Those have a thing on them. I I don't think I've LMAO'd a TV show in a really long time. The last media I remember legitimately laughing at is the fucking book that we've been reading. Catch twenty two. Yeah, catch twenty two. Love in, like the past catch like 22. In the past like five years. Well, I think I laughed at something in fucking twenty four killers recently, but what am I? I want this to line up, I guess. It. Yeah, I, I, I did just... laugh like twice at catch twenty two. They can mark ma- match up in any rotation. They just have to match up. I haven't left five seven years. No, I laugh at my friends. It's very hard my to friends see. Can make me laugh. This angle is awful. Can you step off of this, or will it? I can step off. I remember of the it, last but... time I laughed at a cartoon. So what do I have okay, to like? No, you do have to stand on. This it is awful. Angle. This is terrible. I have to look at this from the worst angle possible, and it just randomly does shit. 
Okay! You're just fire blasting. I think there's entirely too much media. I think there's entirely too many... You fire blast them to stop them while you're on the button. Yeah? <laughs> There's too much media. There's too much everything. I want. I, we need to go back to living in huts and dying when you get a splinter. I don't agree with that. Just facing prey animals forever. Ah! Oh my god. <laughs> Move! Wow, this is really engaging. Talk about something fun. Who would say something crazy? I have nothing I have nothing crazy or nothing fun, unfortunately. I can't Can I talk more about Toontown? Fuck no. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Dog no, shit I... video game! Dog shit what? video game! <laughs> Cartoon as shit, dude. Game for it's literally babies. cartoon stuff. It's yeah, that's what I'm saying, dude. Stuff. That's what I'm saying. Watch a real shit. Watch some real shit. Cartoon Town. Why not? Uh, why not Stanley Kubrick Town? Why can't I go to The Shining and hit people with the with the blood elevator move? I gotta get my axe gag track up. Gotta get my. Gotta charge up my Hal 9000. Where's the where's the fucking what's yeah, his name? Kind of cog who's the foot right guy? Now, who's the foot guy? The foot guy? Quentin yeah, Tarantino? The Tarantino? Where, where's the Quentin Tarantino oh my MMO? God. <laughs> Give me a real adult game. Oh my god. I never said that I'm gonna stop hating. Did I say I'm gonna stop hating? No, I said I would stop saying that video games are ugly based on art style. I would never and say also... I'm gonna stop hating. I wanna can okay, can somebody I, I'm a little bit bored with this game. Can someone give me something to hate on really fast? Just say no. something that I I wanna hate on something. I wanna hate on something no, so badly. You, can I play the game? No. <laughs> I loves it. I loves this game. Pop tarts Pop Tarts are good, taxes are fine, Bethesda, I don't care that much. The Beach Boys are alright, you know. Fuck yeah, Mike Love friend. though. I'd tear Mike Love's head off like I'm Quan Chi, baby. Fuck that guy. Piece of shit. Hate that dude. Modern cartoon, don't know any scalpers, Modern cartoons, you know? uh oh, nice CalArts face. Uh Money Street, <laughs> I don't know what that is. Cocaine Bear. Cocaine Bear is fucking stupid. Cocaine Bear is not funny. Cocaine Bear is lowest common denominator share people who think they're funnier than they actually are. So I don't know why, but I, I followed I followed Guillermo del Toro on Twitter <laughs> and he was retweeting a lot of stuff about Cocaine Bear for some reason. Well he's wrong, the movie fucking sucks. Oh. I think it's just because it had an original script and that was a big deal for I a think bunch of people. Co Cocaine it's Bear based on really, a true story still, so Cocaine it's not Bear even is original. really well liked by people who like are not online and listen to people make jokes about that sort of, sort of thing constantly. My mom saw Cocaine Bear. Which is like a, a very out of character movie for her to see. I was like, why do you see Cocaine Bear? And she's like, I didn't know it was like a scary movie. It's a scary movie? Yeah, it's no, like a it's like, No, it's like a funny movie. It's like trying to be it, fucking funny. It's both. He like, he like eviscerates people. Yeah, but it's fucking filmed like a Disney Channel skit, so... If there's a bear that tears people apart, then it counts as a scary movie. Yeah, but it's filmed like a Disney Channel skit, it's just kind of It doesn't funny. change it. Whatever. Everything ever all at once. You know, I get I get yelled at every time I mention that movie. Remember, I'm not talking about it anymore. When I talk Everyone about my mom's me. movie taste, we saw Dwayne Johnson's Skyscraper, which is a movie where he goes to Just China and uh, he goes to the world's tallest skyscraper and it lights on fire and he has to save his wife. And there's a scene where he Dwayne Johnson runs across a crane and he jumps from an open window in the in the, in the in the skyscraper. You can look up the poster. Look up Dwayne Johnson skyscraper. You'll see the don't, scene. Don't bother. It's fine. It goes in slow it. motion. Dwayne jumps and in slow motion. You're boom, and it cuts to like below his feet, and it shows like the shadow. Yeah, but it's a fake skyscraper in China. Um, it shows his feet. Like holy shit, what a crazy jump! And it's just him on a green screen going in slow motion. Second he does that jump. 
we're in a theater full of like 30 people who don't care. My mom covers her eyes and goes, oh my god! <laughs> she couldn't believe it. It was like legit, it was like legitimately scary to her. Believe <laughs> when Boot jumps the railroad track. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, clouds, I'm not gonna hate clouds. My mom would think Actually, okay, okay. Like, can I, I say something? Can I say something? Can I, I, I wanna say one last thing ever. One last, this is my final piece. Can I say my final piece on everything, everywhere, all at once, really fast? Like, my last thing I'll ever say about it. It's not even about the movie. Mm -hmm. I have to say oh, one God. last thing about the. I have to say one last thing. This is my final piece. Fine. Everybody who likes that movie keeps acting like they're fucking oppressed for liking it, and it's insane. That's all. That's all. I keep seeing weird ass posts on Twitter where it's like, Dude, people say. That's entirely you. People say they don't like this because of this. What? I, I don't know. Someone doesn't like it. I, it's like one fucking person, I think. I think I see one person who oh, does like it. I guarantee. I Queeve, guarantee. you need to concentrate. Don't get scared. Queeve. Queeve, it's really scary in here. I'm sorry to interrupt you, but... Oh my god. You have to compose yourself. This is a very, very, oh. very funny thing. No, like, I follow someone who makes, like, YouTube videos and was, like, really mad because their video about how, like, why everything ever all at once is not overrated didn't do that well. It's like, I don't know. It's just weird. Everything's weird. I just think everything is weird. You know what? That's not even me complaining about the movie. That's me complaining about people get mad about engagement all the time. Oh, I got too scared. You got too scared. <laughs> this is... Oh wiggling my thing around like crazy darn <laughs> oh damn it i got scared this is kind of cool um i think i have to go Did through the lose? entire dungeon all over again oh, I please think. tell me you saved i'm Satan. pretty sure i have to go let me see i did thank god i did i did i did i did we're good Yeah, you can't say it's an underrated, an underrated movie because it did win seven Oscars. Yeah, and it's like, I don't know, it's just, it's weird to... Everything's weird to me. I, I say again. I still haven't seen it. I haven't either. You should both watch it with me. Okay. Can hey, we do, uh... When are you going to watch the original Knives Out? <laughs> don't ask me that. Stop asking me about Knives Out. It's even worse now, because everyone hated that fucking second one. Actually, a lot of people really liked the second one, but I hated it, so... Um, you, you, it was... It's I, a completely different tone. I thought it. they were... I thought it was fine, but... It I thought Glass fun. Onion was dog shit, but... I think a lot of things are. I'm, I'm very... I'm very picky. I'm a picky person. I have been finally getting people to watch my favorite movie of last year, which was After Sun, which is the best movie of last year. This is too fucking scary. Oh, I passed it. I'm not a hater, I just don't like some things. Glass Onion's fucking shit. You came here and you said, give me things to hate. I want to hate. I'm going to be a liker. I'm. This is the boot promise, okay? For the rest of the month, I'm not going to hate on anything. Okay? Okay, shake on it. I'm not shaking on it. We've synth. You're my you're my witnesses. I don't okay. shake on it. Synth, witness me here. Sure. I oh I forgot that Fox gets high. Um, I don't believe that you're not going to get mad for the rest I'm of not, the month. But go I, for specifically it. on stream, if I get mad like one on one or in like a group call. Yeah. What do you think about the What do you think about that new Spider Verse trailer? trailer. <laughs> I don't. I don't hate it. I think it looks less good than the first one, but I still like it. Which isn't a hater. That's not a hater thing to say. See, okay, here's the thing, by the way, Gray. Anyone who was disappointed by After Sun and expected more... I, I, I think I understand how someone could reach that. Like, I, I, I get how someone could have that opinion. I feel like After Sun is a difficult... It's like... One of the more difficult 2022 movies, I think. In terms of, like, pacing and shit. And there's a lot of filling in blanks. And you give what you get in that movie a little bit, or you get what you give in that movie a little bit, which is, uh, kind of my favorite type of movie, I think. My favorite kind of film is one where, like, what you put into it is a part of what you actually end up getting from it, rather than just a movie where it's just kind of what it is. 
I think it's I think it's a fun I think it's a fun kind of formula and but I also like thinking about a movie for like a significant yeah. period of time yeah, after I watch it and I like rewatching movies and that's also why I get super annoyed with some movies is some movies are so like just grating to me in some ways that I like don't want to think about them for any longer than I have to and I don't want to have to like fucking watch them ever again I, yeah. I had no reason to come up here no I'm excited I think I'm just going back to I my like, house. I like the writers a lot and I expect exclusively good things from them because they they okay. have very few misses under their belt. I think it's I think Spider Verse Two is still pretty, but I just don't fucking care about Spider Man very I'm much. I'm interested. I'm interested. I literally the only thing I don't like about it is uh, wait, they fired all three of the directors. Oh, that's bad. That's wait, not what? Good. Uh oh. Whoops. I'm gonna be a liker for a oh. second. I'm gonna be a liker for a second, okay? But okay, I'm okay, gonna talk yeah, about things fine. I like. I'm gonna talk about things I like for a second. Because everyone thinks I'm a hater. I'm gonna talk about things I like for like one second while I walk all the fucking Sorry, way back to Crystal's house. <laughs> um, I'm excited for Shin Kamen Rider. Yeah. I'm gonna like that, I think. I think I'm gonna like that. I'm a Kamen Rider enjoyer. I think I've said this before, at least on Twitter. Um, I'm genetically predisposed to enjoying Kamen Rider because when I was like a newborn baby, um, my dad would play Kamen Rider episodes while I was around all the time awesome. because he thought it would just make me learn Japanese somehow. So he would it's just really play funny. Kamen Rider all the fucking time. And he Not was for a, the he, same purpose, but he my a dad big, would be able to play the apes. Yeah, he's a big Kamen Rider fan, so I, I have liked Kamen Rider for a long time. And, uh... Kamen Rider feels very new. Ooh, what? The first, the literal first thing that... <laughs> what what language? No, no. That's a completely said, unrelated said, to what I said, actually. I said, I said unrelated I to the language my dad would always make me watch Planet of the Apes in the background. He's trying the to make you thing, have taste. When I was, literally when I was I'm born. Left. When I was born oh, yeah. and we came back from the hospital, the first thing that my dad did was he got my brother and he set up a tent in our living room and he played Planet of the Apes in a tent and he brought my little baby, like day, day two day old baby, you watch Plenty of the Apes again. Um, no one my earliest memory is just watching so Plenty of the Apes. Anyways. He, like, instinctively in my brain that has to be this. Uh, anyways, other things that I like. Um, I rewatched Pets Cop recently. Mm -hmm. uh, How's that? I like Pets Cop. I'm a fan. It's really good. I think I, Pets Cop suffers from a bit of a you had to be there thing, to which isn't a real negative in my eyes. But like, oh, it was, when you were keep, if you were a person who was actually keeping up with Pets Cop when it was like new, it was crazy. Because mm -hmm. I remember yeah. finding that really soon after, I think that when I was watching Pets Cop initially, it was when there was just the very first batch of episodes on YouTube. Yeah. And it had like a couple thousand views and it was so fucking tight. And uh, keeping up with it was really fun, but just watching it all in one sitting made me absorb a lot of it better than watching yeah. it with year-long yeah. breaks in between some episodes. And exactly. I think I got more out of it from like an interpretation standpoint now yeah. because I think I'm more well-versed in media in general. And I feel like I've gotten a lot better at like what I just kind of said. Like, I'll have to talk to you about that later because that, that interests me. I never got big into the general story, but the yeah. vibe alone got me a long way. I feel like I've gotten better at like what I just said, which is like getting, giving, getting what I give with something. And I think Pets Cop is a very, very that kind of thing thing. Yeah. Um. And I don't think there's any correct interpretation of it, but also it's still it's it's cool. I like it. Pet Scop was one of my watch it at night and then end up getting spooked things. Oh, I st I got it's spooked weird. still. I still got fucking spooked. I don't know spooked. why. I it's like in a very like enjoyable way. Yeah, like I straight up was like rewatching Pets Cop over the weekend, and like every single night I would watch like ten episodes and then be like freaked out still. It's very effective <laughs> at, at what it does. I, th I think. I think it's one of the only things that uh, like spooks me at in all. In a weird way. Because I've yeah. seen a couple of things try to do a similar thing. Like there's all of them are too scary. Shit. All of them are too scary. All of them are too like trying to be scary to they're, actually they're, be scary. They're either too backrooms or they're too scary. That's kind of it's just like such a weird like vibe where it feels like something bad's going to happen. Yeah. That's cop is like a, I can't go to the fridge. Marvin in the fridge. I'm scared. <laughs> yeah.
<laughs> yeah, it's just uncomfortable. And those like little bits where you like remember, oh yeah, there's someone like playing this video game. Like you walked past. Oh my god! Goes, what the fuck was that? Yum yum. Um. <laughs> there's one. There's one episode specifically that like nearly end, ends ends slash quote unquote ends with him going what the fuck and then leaving and it just yeah I like, think oh, a yeah, big that's like you. censored thing appears on the ground and he says what the fuck and then the episode just ends immediately like you don't even see what happens God there is fucking shit in that that was so crazy I remember watching fucking Pets Cop in the mm -hmm. one episode that was like the super loud like alarm sound and then oh, a God, diagram yeah. of the guy's room. And it's just like, that's- that's what you get! That's, that's the episode! I think this is a good stopping point for this, by the way. We just put a spirit yeah. away. We just put a spirit away. Right? Like, what else do we have to do? I don't even I know what our right. next objective uh, is. I guess we're technically just green or something and we can finish it off. Yeah, yeah I wanna get- I wanna know what we're actually doing. You know, seriously, um, every party movie stream now would like Andrew Trebekah. I think I did. I introduce you to Andrew Trebekah. I introduced like a dozen people. I think Andrew you need to talk to that thorn until you just passed. Oh, I was talking to the queen. Someone sounds in terrible trouble. Um, something that I want to do inevitably. Speaking of Above watching, Jesus Christ, that scared me. Speaking of watching things, the party babies, I want to do a Gattaca watch along. I want to do that. Hot. Cause it's on Tubi. What the fuck am I doing? There's a crying thorn tail somewhere. There's an Arwing mission coming up shortly if you want to do that. Otherwise, oh, they'd be perfect. Call it. I'm listening really hard. Because it's on Tubi, so it'd be very easily just to like. It should be close to the warp stone. Apparently. Gather everybody together and just say, "Yeah, here, here's the Tubi link. We're going to be watching Gattaca." Run an overlay that's just like a blurred light of the TV shining on us as we're, like, being filmed from the TV camera, all of our tubers. It'd be easy. It'd be great. What? The egg thieves must be stopped. I think it's behind the warp stone. This game is so fucking directionless and vague. It's insane. It doesn't fucking tell you anything. Oh, oh yeah, it's her. There's no one mentioned this. There's... Yeah, but I had it's to go talk to them, you. and I haven't had any reason to talk to them for like five hours. What do you mean? Talk works, to you have to talk to people. Some... You have yeah, to you have find to talk out about everybody. Luppy Luppy by talking to people. Luppy Luppy? I hate Luppy Luppy. <laughs> I'm so sick of helping mothers in this game. I know dads in this game. Ain't that weird? Oh God. I've seen this before. Why have I seen this before? That's an excellent question. But they are stealing her eggs. You've got to stop them. Where have I seen this? What the hell? Dreams. I've watched someone do this challenge. You imagined this? This is just like in Poppy Playtime, Chapter 2. Sin. Yeah. Why do you know, why would why do you know that? I don't. I don't think this is in, like in this is kind okay, of like okay. Five Nights at Freddy's. I was well, yeah, me a little concerned. I was about more stuff you are, you are... I liked really fast. Remember the one episode where they go into like the debug menu and look at all of the like in progress sprites and stuff? That was cool. Yeah. And then it ends with zooming in on the underscore house for a really long time. Oh what God, the hell? So many of them. Dude, they're taking all the fucking eggs. We've... The one up, the one up is further away. This is absurd. At least they're pretty slow when they're taking them back. There's one up there. Oh, oh. I fucking hit him multiple no! times! Oh my god, do I have to actually do it all over again? This is gonna be miserable. This is awful. This is terrible. Can you use your fireball? Holy fucking shit, this game sucks. I hate this fucking video game. Can you game. use ground slam when they're all clustered up? This game is bad. This is a bad video game. 
Heat detection is fucking shit. Heat yeah. detection Matt, is not good. Matt, would you good. want one of your children stolen? It's better than all of them. Adventures. Why do they never make another one of these games? This is not whimsical. Ch child abduction is not whimsical at all. The fucking hit detection is making me so goddamn. You didn't get him. You didn't get him, Queef. You didn't get him. Guy in the bottom right. Top. I guess one got away. Okay. Yeah, there's one down. This is the. This is awful. This is terrible. Have you tried using your other moves? I don't have one down. I can't use them. Or I do have one down, and I can't use it. It's like right out. Okay. Whose idea was this? Do you think? Grant Kirkham. I don't think Grant Kirkham has that kind of creative control. He loves this shit. I'm gonna at him on Twitter and see if he knows. Why'd you do this? No. <laughs> yep. I can some eggs. Shit. Alright, they all gave up. Cool. The top move they left! <laughs> yeah, I did, ma'am. Hmm. I believe inside there oh. is something that you see. Look at this. <laughs> Her babies. They're not hatching now. Am I tiny? Did I get tiny for a second? No. Someone said I got a tiny carry. Oh. Why is everyone saying small? Did I get small for like a second? I'm sorry. I'm sorry yeah. if that happened. I didn't mean you to. You got so tiny. What would you Old do if I was two theory. inches tall when I was on your floor? <laughs> Just asking. <laughs> Just, Just like wondering, you know, what do you think her eggs smell like? I can't have you be two inches tall and on my floor, but I can not have you be... I don't remember how tall the carry stand is. Six inches Not tall. Many inches tall. Six inches tall and all my Six inches tall. By the way, carry stand is still available for sale. You can buy it still. I have mine. You do have yours. She's judging me constantly. I can open portal doorways now. Which I Great. think I, there are a lot of. Everyone who has a carry standy is so fucking happy about it. You have no idea how happy everybody is. They love having carry in their house, observing. I actually have an extra one, and I might do, like, a little giveaway or something at some point, Ooh. maybe. And to enter the giveaway, all you have to do is buy the carry standy. <laughs> and then you get, you, you get an extra one. Yeah, you standee. might get an extra one. So now I can open portal doorways. Um... I can't think of where any of those are that aren't in entirely different, like, zones. <laughs> uh, I, is- are the portal door- there's one in here, right? Here? Maybe. I think so. Maybe. That's why I'm heading here, so I think there was a door I couldn't access in here. It's so nice yeah. to see you both. Hi, Tricky's mom. Tricky's mom is just now? sitting in this- your father has been <laughs> I'm sorry that your son is blue now. Green and blue. Okay? Got John. Oh, sorry, I said, "Fuck, fuck, we gotta help him." <laughs> Point us in the direction of the gatekeeper. Point us in the direction of the gatekeeper, and we'll rescue him. You see, Tricky's father is the gatekeeper. 
I'm just the oh, girl boss! No. Wait, what? Tricky is the gaslighter, she's the girl boss, and his dad's the gatekeeper. Oh, what else is there to say? Yes, and a wise one at that. A wise when gatekeeper. When scales came to our land, your father knew that the sharp clothes would come for him. And so he hid his gatekeeper powers behind this sacred seal. Uh huh. I'm sorry. Sorry, I'm. What's a gatekeeper? <laughs> they haven't. I, have no I don't think they've ever mentioned the concept of a gatekeeper before just now. <laughs> they just kind of threw this one at us. Huh. This game's got lore. Oh, I didn't expect for that to be how they opened it all. <laughs> what? Whoa, huh? Whoa. That's not what I expected. What the fuck was that? Very interesting. Why did I need a whole ass cutscene to tell me to do that? I already was gonna open it. Oh my god, this is really beat up about this. This game, bro. This game is crazy. Where'd that blue go? Yo, what? Uh, well, you can. It opened a, 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 a way to get up to the thing. I think you can use your R wing now. I feel like we have to be pretty close to the end of this game. Let's see. I think we have two out of four Krizoa Spirits, right? Yeah. There's five Krizoa Spirits. Ah, oh, shit. But you just got the third one. Yeah. Oh. Okay, well then we are pretty close. We only probably have like two or some more streams of this game left, right? I thought that we had three out of four, yeah. I mean, I guess you don't count the crystal one. Yes, we have three out of four. Um... Walled yeah, City? Think... Yeah, Walled City. Alright, wanna fly here and then I call it for the night? I think probably two more streams. Yeah, yeah sounds we'll... good. Alright, we're gonna fly here and then we're gonna call it. And then I'll announce... Uh, yeah, I'm gonna announce once we're in the Walled City, safe and sound. We'll go over some stuff really fast. We'll go back to our little fireplace, or fire mm -hmm. camp. Watch out for mines. Watch out for mines. Don't fucking pretend like there's any threat to my life at all. In these these sections are just so. I don't, I don't even know why I bother getting bombs. I don't think I've used one. Oh, hey, I died. Yay! There was a threat to my life the whole time. It wasn't oh, the mines. So Tricky and God. Fox are dead now. <laughs> it wasn't. Yeah, they That's just... it. <laughs> wow, embarrassing. How embarrassing that would be if that's what happened. <laughs> okay. We're just gonna pretend like that one didn't happen. I didn't expect for it to be an insta-kill. That's not how it works when you hit anything else in this section. It was a thicker object than usual. Yeah, like that one's different, I guess. Okay. Oh my god. How do I watch out? I can't I adjust think... my speed, I just take damage. You can barrel roll, remember? Oh yeah, I forgot because you don't need to. The only thing that's killed me is something that barrel rolls would not have helped me at all with. Yeah. What is happening? Oh my god. What? I'm going up! I'm going up! I wasn't going up, I was trying to go down! I like clipped through the fucking ceiling! I hate that those are all the default oh my god, you explosion. didn't get enough rings. You failed to get all of the gold rings! The force field remains closed! You'll have oh. to try harder next time! My fucking god. <laughs> we would've got it if we didn't get stuck in the ceiling. Why throw seven gold rings Woo! the gatekeeper's force field? Why is- why- why- why is- does that General- General Pepper have more important things to do? This time's gonna be the most fun time of all. You know what they say about the third the third time, it's the charm. I, 
Yeah. Anyone have anything to say, or are we just gonna? No, I'm observing. We're just flying on this. Very... Very... Please, come on. I, I know. I, I have come nothing on. to fucking say. I'm, I'm, I'm so focused right now. You're so judgmental. I'm enjoying this like terrain. I'm getting invested. There's lasers falling off. There's explosion sounds. Slippy toes screaming. It's exciting. I'm invested in the story. You're judging me for it. I, I'm not happy about it's that. It's really not that exciting. It's exciting. I got seven rings. Yippee! We did it. We're at the walled city. Oh my god. Alright. <laughs> this has been a rough one today, I think. I don't think there's been a rough one at all. I had a great we time. There's a lot of time dicking around. In oh, the tricky, light, tricky no. clambers out of the R Wing's nose. All right, next time, the Walled Fortress. Next time is the Walled Fortress, is baby. Only like two streams left, probably. We're at a very good point right now. Uh, let's talk about some stuff real fast then. Hey. Yes, sir. <laughs> the game. Chosen. Officially, by the 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 month, an entire month of deliberation. By the way, oh god, in our Discord channel, has led to the official choice of a game that we will have to play. I'm gonna say this month, with the Gattaca yeah, Party Babies quant quint quant quad quadruple. What are we? What's it? What's the trio? Quartet. What for? Quartet? I forgot. I, I kept thinking of like quintuple for some reason. I was like, that's five. Um, quintuplet. Quintuplet. Uh, the, yeah, the Gattaca Party B Squad. That that's better. The squad. Uh, is <laughs> Roblox. We have to play Roblox. We have to play Roblox for any stream. Hooray! We have to play Roblox. I, we haven't figured out how we're going to do this. If we're going to curate a list or collect games, yeah, we're gonna. Games. We get. We think we get to control it. Only has to be one stream. So yes, yeah, and chat better. does not get to fucking tell us what we play in Roblox. Luckily, so there is a yeah. little bit of leeway that we have to choose our own stuff. I say this month because I probably am just gonna spend a while like trying to find stuff that seems like it'd be funny. Noel, I know, has had a Roblox phase before. Yeah, I was gonna but say, I, I'm just gonna I, don't, ask I don't know if Noel's gonna have any good ideas because Noel mostly just played like fucking B Simulator for 50 no, hours every some... single day. I will not be playing B Simulator. Yeah, I'm not playing B Simulator, but uh, I do th I do believe that Noel uh, has played some stuff, so we could use that. And people can offer suggestions in the pick the game channel if they want if you know something that you think might be funny i'll probably mention that in there but unlike unlike pick the game itself suggesting something is a suggestion now in there if you suggest a roblox world for us to enjoy it is a suggestion it is not set in stone but i'll look at it and it might be in the list of things that we do because it's going to be a variety stream in roblox um as we said, the rule of this is we're gonna do probably one stream of this game. So we already have. I, I'm gonna. I'm, I'll rename it. Suggest the Roblox Obby. That's the name of it now. I'll change. I'll change the name oh, after a stream. God. Um, but that's 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 the deal. Is we do have to officially play fucking Roblox. Um. By the way, speaking of uh, speaking of that, real fast, I'm gonna plug it. I'm, I'm plugging it one more time because I haven't plugged it in a while because I haven't streamed in a little bit. And by that I mean a day. But uh, by the way, there's a carry standy. You can buy a carry standy. <laughs> you can buy this and have it in your home. People have received theirs, and the overwhelming review is it's badass and also it's really fucking big. It's huge. The carry standy is really, really like comically large, so. Uh, yeah, you know, like lemon pig's notably smaller than a real lemon. Lemon pig on the right is the size of like a full lemon, still, pretty much. So, yeah, she will steal your Pepsi and call you a bitch. But other than that, the 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 Carrie Standy is an excellent investment. I don't know how she feels now that um, it's as big as your phone. Yeah, exactly. Second lemon pig is still hanging on though. Second lemon pig is dead, but like he is like he hasn't turned to mush. A lot of people that I know 
made a lemon pig and it just turned into like slop and like fell apart basically second lemon pig is hanging on by a thread but he has hardened so is there your is that. house like on hollowed ground or something <laughs> it's on a burial ground of some sort it's on a lemon pig <laughs> burial ground generations I, I, of lemon pigs uh i'm just trying to figure out how this could possibly happen there's gotta be something fucked up about the like humidity situation in portland i don't know actually no you'd think it being humid would make them die faster right yeah you know what my room is absurdly dry i wake up almost every single fucking morning with like a really dry nose that bleeds <laughs> sometimes my room's really dry lemon pig has been absorbing it yeah like i don't know what's up i do actually have a dry ass room i live in a fucking tomb i don't know what's going on so maybe something about the horrifying dryness of my room is preserving lemon pigs in a way nowhere else can Anyways, you should buy the carry standy. It's here. I should probably make that into a command or something. Um, also, let me do my normal plugs as well. There's a Discord. If you're not in the Discord yet, you should definitely join it. It is active. And as I just said, we are currently taking suggestions for what Roblox bullshit we're going to have to play. So if you're a seasoned Robloxian, your input's very appreciated, especially if you know things that would actually be fucking funny. There is a YouTube which features edited VODs made by our very own Floofy, beloved Floofy, who, by the way, if you're not following Floofy on Twitch also, you probably should. Floofy streams as well. Um, so that's a plug for Floofy as a streamer. You should follow Floofy on Twitch.tv. Um, Hooray! We have an archive channel which features full unedited VODs or fucking Pac-Man Fever or whatever one just went up today, I think. And that one's a shit show, so you should watch that. That game's That's horrible. Uh, and what else do we got? What, what other things do I have to plug? Uh, Twitter, if you want to keep up with stream. Discord is, I think, the best place to do it, given the recent stability of Twitter. Uh, but the Twitter is the second Ooh. best place to do it. Uh, I do suggest following it. Um... No reason not to, really, you know? That's my plug. Just do it, because why not? Uh, I Number go up on Twitter. That's cool. But I do post stream announcements there uh, first. And when I post, like, what we're going to stream, I post it there as well. So it's a good way to get those sorts of updates if you're not a person who likes joining a bunch of discords. That's what's up. Um, this yeah. Thursday... This Thursday, we're going to have a party baby stream, I think. I don't know specifically what we're going to do. Yeah, we have to figure it out. I feel like, yeah, I, 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 I might look into some stuff. I'll look into some stuff. I definitely want us to do some kind of one-off shit, though, to celebrate us, uh, you know, finally fucking beating uh, <laughs> Mario 64. It'll, it'll probably be kind of fun to get back to something sort of classic. Not necessarily classic as in Mario Party, but classic as in like just us four doing something. I would love to play something. Mario Party. Oh my god. Do you know that there's a Mario Party on the NES? Actually, I linked something in our personal Discord that I think is that, very, very interesting. I saw it. I about. saw it. Future, that that would probably, use. yeah, that's for future use, but I did see it. <laughs> Anyways, that's all. Uh, I want to roll let's, credits. Let's just play Pictionary for the NES for three hours. I thought you meant Pictionary in real life, and I was like, yeah, that sounds fun. I want to fucking do... I want to do a fucking IRL stream at some point with everybody. We're going to figure it out in some way, I swear to God. I have ideas in my head. It just is a matter of having those ideas work. Anyways, uh, I'm going to roll credits. Thank you all for coming on. Bye. I will see you all on Thursday. Bye. And we are definitely actually streaming on Sunday this week. I know we've had two Sundays off in a row for various reasons, but this time we're going to be back in the fucking mix of shit, so... Look forward to that. Um, this Sunday, I'm probably... We might just do NES games because we have not done them in two weeks. I do want to do a one-off thing on a Sunday, but I feel like I spent so long away from my, my NES shit, I need to, like, re-whatever. Re, re, uh, Re-attribute myself to it. For some reason, I wanted to say re-antiquate, which is completely not a thing that means anything. In that situation, uh, I feel like I need to retribute myself to NES shit, but I might not. Uh, I do kind of want to do a fucking, like, old PC game stream again at some point, and I feel like Sunday's always a good time for that, so I'll figure it out. You know, we'll see. We'll see what we do. Uh, that's all, though. Under all credits. Good night. Goodbye. Good night. Reacquaint. I was thinking reacquaint.
You're right. Okay, bye. Bye-bye.